Hello, Internet, and welcome to Produce Cast Episode 5, the Produce 48 podcast where Mnet takes all of your hopes and dreams and shatters them into tiny, bite sized pieces. God damn. I don't think it's that dramatic. <laughs> but. I'm not scared. Okay, so this is the final episode of Produce Cast for this season. We will be covering the latter ha- the like the end of episode 11 and uh all of episode 12 which was the finale. Um as always if you want to if you're here for the first time uh your and you'd family. like to catch yeah <laughs> if you're your family yes. Um if you're here for the first time and you want to catch up on the rest of our episodes uh they are on our YouTube channel at youtube.com/trulydaybok. Uh we are also available on all uh, on most if not all audio services such as SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, etc. Um so yeah, uh, I'd say this. Yeah, this is the final episode of the season. We'll get to what we'll do with the show at the very end. But uh, I hope you enjoy. My guests that join me tonight are in the middle. We have the IOI master, Nathan Swisher. I'm on your side. Uh, what is it? <laughs> the I was gonna try to think. What's the uh, the stupid quote? Is it car insurance? What? Nationwide like, is on some, your side. It's on your side. That's what I was thinking. That's Wait, what came up when is that I said really that. The first, okay, okay. That's the first thing that comes no. to mind. Yeah, and, that was the first thing. Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and joining us for the first time in a long time, it's Kidding John. <laughs> Rip. I just, re- I, just replaced your, I just replaced your image with Kidding John <laughs> on the, yeah, on the yeah, overlay. I saw. No, anyway. So, yeah, sorry Jacob. I haven't been here. Um conflicts basically um so, but i'm here yeah, he's been fighting basically people. mostly well it's between uh finishing up work and now i'm at school and i have like no time so Apparently, i'm not exactly caught up on produce too. but i watched the uh, all the performances and i uh found out the final roster and stuff like that so i still have thoughts on it um oh wait so as just, well just, as just for reference which was your favorite of the debut concept evaluation performances again the debut? Oh, yeah, 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 Wait, which concept, one was that? Uh, concept, oh, concept evaluation, evaluation, not debut. The, like, debut. like, rumor and, and that stuff. Oh, okay, yeah rumor, was, yeah. rumor was my favorite, yeah. Damn right. Rumor and uh, I'll Little Be There Little was really good. I like both okay. of those. As always, my name is Andrew Lee. I am the host of this show, and I have one sort of special announcement to make. Uh, well, first... Uh, our, our thoughts go out to everyone in up in Hokkaido, Japan. Uh, in yeah, the aftermath definitely. of the earthquake. Uh, yeah. I hope everyone's safe and can um, be taken care of in terms of power and sort of like housing situation. Second, uh, on much lighter notes, uh, <laughs> I've just been like I guess because I'm on like produce withdrawal, so all I've been doing is just watching like nonstop AK Bingo clips of like <laughs> all of the members as babies, and oh my god, baby Nako is so precious. There's this one clip on the internet where um, she's got to look like she's like five. <laughs> I mean, once she she looks pretty young already as it is. So she looks she even, already looks young. Like 13 year old Nako looks like a child basically, which is really funny. Um, so well, there's she was like a child. I mean, yeah, she was a child, basically. So there's this one clip of her. Uh, she gets really scared because this like huge like professional wrestler lady comes in, and she gets really scared and tries to hide from her and everything. I'm just like, oh my god, Nako, <laughs> I love you so much. And uh, on really good news, um, uh, Matsui Judina of SKE48, who had to leave uh, Produce48 and take a hiatus from 48 Group Activities due to uh, health conditions, made a surprise return um, uh, this morning. Uh, because, uh, like, randomly showed up at one of the SKE uh, live events, and she's actually going to perform "Sentimental Train" on uh, a music show with the rest of the uh, AKB48 Senbatsu group uh, sometime tomorrow. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy to see that she's back and healthy, and I hope that she can continue to be the amazing uh, member that she is. And I can't, I can't wait to see the new mu- the refilmed music video with her as the center. Definitely. All right, so with the formalities out of the way, I'd say we can go get into the meat and potatoes of the show, what everyone's here for. So, uh, Love meat and I, potatoes. Yeah, damn it, now I'm hungry. <laughs> anyway, so um, towards, we'll cover the uh, latter half of episode 11, as I mentioned before. So 
for the final evaluation, it's pretty much the same sort of uh, thing that they've been doing with produce ever since the beginning, where two groups of 10, and it's by two like different producers, and basically you get to pick whichever like position you want, and if somebody that's higher ranked than you wants that um, position, they can kick you out and move you to a completely different song and everything, and... It, it's always a nightmare. Like, was it, was it, again, I, I never, I have no reference with season one. Season two was kind of messy, but with season one, was it really, like, messy well, with... Season one didn't have two songs. Oh, they only had said, one? Yeah, it was, because it was supposed to be their debut song. Uh, Crush or um, whatever, is that what So they had Crush. And they just had two different teams perform Crush. Oh. Um, in, like, two different versions, or, yeah, so, it, yeah, it, it didn't work this way. This was something okay. they, they added in, in part two. Or season two. In theory, like, that might be a better situation. I, I don't know, like, maybe just have, like, Except one then song. that song didn't become their debut, even though yeah, it was for whatever far goddamn superior. Reason. Yeah. Far superior. Yeah, because we can, we can get that. That's, that's a, we can have an entire podcast discussion about how Crush is infinitely superior to freaking Dreamgirls, but. Although Dreamgirls <laughs> has grown on me a lot. I do like the song, but it's <laughs> anyway. not Crush. So the songs were, uh, one was by Han Sung Soo from Pledis, uh, the Korean, it's the Korean, it's a song in Korean and it was, the translation is like, We Together. Uh, the other song was by Yas- Yasushi Akimoto, who is the pro- main producer for AKB48 and the rest of the sister groups. An interesting thing to note here is, in the graphic when they showed like all the groups that he worked for, this is the first time they've ever mentioned uh, Nogizaka 46 and Ke- Keakizaka 46, which is the, the official rival group to... Oh, so he actually does stuff for them? Yeah, too? he does. he's in charge oh. of that group as well. And I mean, there's been... <laughs> Weird. There's, I, I, I was doing research. Apparently, there's been a transfer student where somebody tra- uh, did a short stint in uh, Nogizaka 46 that transferred from an AKB 48. Uh, I think, yeah, hmm. from AKB 48 or something like that, so... We'll, we'll get to that later. Anyway, so yeah, this song was in Japanese. Um, I, I don't want to go through all like the picking and kicking because it's really like obnoxiously long and really yeah. contrived. But I'd say the main controversy in this that they sort of play up is um, uh, Takeuchi Miyu. She wanted the main vocal part. However... She had to kick Pak Hyun, who's again a, a very good vocalist. She had to kick her all all the way to like the the sub vocal seventh position or something like that. So I'd say that was like the biggest controversy. So what were you? Yeah, got, I mean, what, what are your thoughts? I mean, overall, like there were there's actually a lot of really good vocalists here at the end. So, yeah, like, it happened a lot. Like Chowan got kicked out. Like oh, yeah, because it was just the higher ranked people get are gonna get to pick it. Um, but at the yeah, same like... time, at the same time, it kind of sucks though, because like, at least in my opinion, from like up to I don't know, like episode eight was it? I think that I watched up to okay seven, something like that. But um, honestly, I thought Hayun was one of the best vocalists in the whole show. Like, uh, if I were to, I guess I I don't know, like uh, Ho Yoon Jin, uh, Pak Hayun, and. Um, Chowan was actually really good as well. Um, what was her name? Cho Yuri. The other, the, what? Cho Yuri. Yuri. Oh, Yuri, yeah, she was really good. Um, now, I'm thinking the other girl who was in the Into the New World with uh, with them. I don't remember. Sorry. No idea. <laughs> um, she, there's uh, a lot of good vocalists. I don't vocalists. know. She made was she in the top Anyways. 20? Yeah, she, yes. wherever. They're, yes. Like, like, they're, like, Kitty Chan's not in top 20, so... <laughs> Yena? No, it wasn't Yena. Hold her. on. No, uh, she's Hold on. not meant that much. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, I'd say... But that's yeah, always, those ones are the best vocalists, in my opinion. Yeah, It's always hard when they have to kick out... Uh, when stuff like this happens, where they have to basically... They have no... Tr- or when uh, Mnet basically pit like pits everyone against each other because I'm sure nobody wants to be that... Nobody wants to be that guy or that girl that kicks somebody out of the main yeah, vocal exactly. position. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, it's as they mentioned. Basically, everyone that had like an important position, like center or main vocal, uh, in season two, they made the group. So it's just, it's it's your own sort of standing uh, over just like like over like I guess nice. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it is a competition. Yeah, ultimately, (laughs) as Jesse says, it's this is competition. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah, you gotta you gotta just take what you think is gonna give you the best shot. 
um, that you can handle. And you, you felt she was good enough to be a yeah. uh, main mm-hmm. vocal, and I think she was. Yeah. Um, we'll get to that. Though. I definitely, I definitely yeah. won't dispute that. But um, yeah, the the one I was talking about was Kim Che Won. Oh, Che Won. Oh, yeah, Che Won. Oh, we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, I'll skip ahead to like the actual. Um, like finales parts and we're gonna just talk about the songs all together so yeah mm-hmm. obviously uh they it's a live finale so the interesting thing is um korea instituted new laws where um people under the age of 15 i believe can't be on televised uh, like programs past midnight so they had to move the first for the first time they had to move the uh finale of produce uh, 101 slash 48 to an earlier time slot because usually with produce it would I don't end think up, that's a new law no because it, it wasn't it was instituted sometime between sometime between this year and last year because last year they, it was yeah. fine there was there was people that were underage and it, it, it produce would finish at like two or three in the morning and regularly whereas this I don't yeah this had to this started at this started like well before prime time so that it was an interesting sort of like caveat towards the uh, introduced to the season so obviously it's a live audience and they're gonna bring back the uh previous groups in wanna one and most of iowa i, I couldn't count exactly who was there. yeah because i mean i, I don't think i don't uh, the, um, off the top of my head i th- i don't think chunga was there but i think everyone, everyone wasn't else. there so i wasn't there kill kung wasn't there chaeon wasn't there has, has so hey showed up to it? anything like honestly, uh, has she she's shown up well, Yeah. No, I mean, has she, she shown well, up to like anything enacted. produce related ever since um, like they left? I don't know. I don't remember if she was there last year. Yeah, I don't think so. So I, again, she's pretty low key. Um, I, all of one was there, and it sucked for them because, they, like I mentioned uh, in the last episode, they had to fly to the Philippines the next day, or they had to do a concert in the Philippines the next day. So they pretty much had to fly out like after the show was done. So mm-hmm. that, that was that's really rough on them. So um, at the beginning of the show, uh, Lee Sung-gi actually showed up for once, uh, <laughs> and he <laughs> announced that the new group's name would be Garbage. Eyes One. <laughs> no, it's, like, Eyes one, yeah, yeah. it's 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 growing on me. So yeah, it's I Z O N. Like I said, they always do. Yeah, I mean it's gonna sound weird at first, but I mean, I go. What were yeah. your thought? What were your initial thoughts when you heard the name Eyes One or um, Eyes Zone or the initial zone? thoughts? Or it was really bad, uh, but like I said to Andrew, um, it's they always sound bad. IOI sounded bad. Wanna One sounded bad. You get used to yeah. them. Yeah. Like none of all three of those names aren't very good names. And like if you look at them like objectively, just like, without an attachment to the group, they're like, they're all really bad group names. Yeah, like, yeah I don't IOI, know. IOI is probably like the least creative group name like ever. Yeah. Idea <laughs> yeah. of Idol. It's I O I is basically no, 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 just I O I B one O one. Like I O I is basically just a rip off of AOA. Like it's not even they weren't even trying to hide yeah. it. One oh one and then one oh one but it literally makes sense. Like it's just it's I one oh one. I don't know. They're all dumb names. But you get used to them. And yeah, Eyes One's the same way. Like it's you, they took the twelve and one and they made the word out of it. Like, By the way, just like they took the one oh one and in made our Discord, it IOI. In our Discord, we have a channel called Eyes One Friends One. Yeah, yeah that was I came up with that. Thank you, I love it. I was uh, I was very proud of myself when I came up with that channel name. I still would have preferred an a, a forty eight suffix at the end, so it'd be fall in line with the rest of the group. But again, yeah, pro- yeah, I, I, if it, I wish it was S O L forty eight. Yeah, that probably leaves it open for uh, Aki P to them do, to make an actual one. Yeah, yeah. an actual like forty eight group, which we'll get to in again. Yeah. So, um, let's get to the actual songs now. Um, you're not good. Jacob, oh. do you have any other thoughts? Oh, did did you have any other thoughts on Eyes One, Eye Zone? Um, I don't know. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I actually think on first listen, I think it's better than the the first two, but really? it still sounds <laughs> weird. I mm. guess so. Yeah. Although I thought it was Eye Zone at first, like everyone. Yeah, everyone thought, thought it was Eye Zone at first. I read the Hangul and I was like, wait a minute, Hangul. this is Eyes One. Yeah, I I, yeah. I looked up the katakana. Is Eyes One? Or is in like Hangul? It's Eyes One. Yeah. Okay. Songs. First is the Korean song. Uh, we together. I'll just name the members and then we'll go through it. So we had 
Miyu as the main vocal, Hitomi. Like, everyone else is a sub vocal, obviously, but. Uh, yeah. Then you had Hitomi, uh, Honda Hitomi, Miyazaki Miho, Joe Yuri, Jang Wan Young, An Yujin, Kim Minju, Park Heon, Yabuki Nakao, and Lee Cheon was the center of the group, which they always put so much like, oh my god, who's the center? Who's the center? And then they yeah. reveal it at the very end. <laughs> yeah, I, I was well, happy. Yeah, they reveal it when they start performing. I was happy to see that Cheon was the center because she got shafted like the entire show. Thank at least from what Christ. I saw. Like, I, she doesn't. Yeah. We'll get there, but she, like again, the, the being picked as the center is just hugely important when it comes to rankings. Like, well, well, it's just like I was always frustrated because I felt that Cheon, like overall, if you put combine like dancing, singing, everything, I felt that she was the mm-hmm. most complete package. Yeah, definitely in the well, whole yeah. show, and she was never like put as the focus the entire oh, yeah, time, the, which always then, frustrated. Yeah, we, we talked about that this the last two episodes, but yeah, it's just. She didn't, she didn't have, have good lines, the personality basically. or storylines. Yeah. Like she didn't, she wasn't confident enough to like put herself out there, uh, yeah. and she so she didn't really get a lot of screen time. Yeah. Um. But yeah, luckily the past few episodes they started building up more of her, um, storyline and kind of showing how good she was and how uh, much of a tragedy it was that she wasn't making all these groups and kept yeah. having to do all these survival shows and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, I was really happy with her as a center. Uh, part of me really wanted Nako to be center with uh, yes. Eugene and and Wan Young to be neck like <laughs> flanking her because she looks so small, oh, like she it, already is tiny. But yeah, like, it's like, it, yeah, she's having the two it's, tallest it, girls. Yeah, there. It, it's freaking Napoleon syndrome, basically. And Napoleon, according to legend, Napoleon wasn't actually that short. It's just he had really tall ass bodyguards around him all the time, which sort of made him look short made amongst look short, other people. Yeah. Apparently, also, although um, Nako they, is actually they based, really short. Apparently, also they based what how long a foot is based upon the actual king's feet. So I guess <laughs> that changed. means he had. Well, no, the English king had bigger feet than the French king. Oh, oh. weird. <laughs> Yeah, so like a foot is smaller in French yeah. than it, in France than it was in England because it That's was a huge foot. That's hilarious. So, okay, or something so, like that. It's it's something to do with why kings having different dumb. size feet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, well, I mean, not standardized. These 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 cubits. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. These these freaking cubits was like the the measure of like your elbow to your wrist and shit like that. So <laughs> at least it, it, it's way better now. But yeah, metric is objectively better. So. Yeah, in terms of the uh, like practice and all that sort of stuff, um, they obviously don't have the the trouble in the other song where it's, it's Korean, so most of them are gonna be able to um, well, do that. I actually, time. yeah, I wanted to point that out. Like, I was actually surprised how many Japanese members picked this song. Yeah, you really think they, they would? That. Yeah, you'd um, think that they picked the other song, but I guess they. Yeah. You maybe they sort of want to appeal like oh yeah, you know Korean or like yeah, yeah I guess so. Like show I'm that confident enough. I know I'm gonna have to sing a Korean song, uh, for the group. I'm confident enough to do it here. So, uh, again, the main storyline I'd say that they sort of pushed with this is Miu. There's a really high note in, uh, like in sort of like the the bridge of this song, and Miu is sort of having trouble with it in the practice, and they just just they were really trying to hammer that point down. And there was like one point, just like, oh, maybe we should change. Maybe we should. Do. I mean, again, I we like Miu, and I, I don't know. Like, I'm always I'm always skeptical whenever they like, oh, they can't hit the high note. That and then oh my god, they hit the high note later. So I'm always just skeptical that they're not showing the. Showing the whole picture. times where she did do it, yeah, I, like it, fine, yeah, yeah, because I mean, it, it it doesn't make it, it doesn't build for an interesting storyline, but, um, mm-hmm. I guess the sort of interesting aspect to it is they decided to change, um, one tiny part of it, whereas they they added to they added like a vocal harmony to the backing of that that section. So I mean, yeah. what were your thoughts on the, the, you, uh, Jacob hearing that for the first time? I mean, like, what were your th- what are your thoughts on not having really. Uh, seen the episode yeah so so for me the i like so in your playlist i i listened to both songs and uh i listened to both of them twice just to like i guess get the the gist of it i think i I definitely preferred uh the korean song more over the japanese one which we'll talk about later but um and i actually didn't even realize that the other one was in japanese (laughs) (laughs) i wasn't even listening to the lyrics did you realize that the uh the the special song was in both. 
Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> the second the <laughs> verse is in Japanese for the like no, sad slow song. But um, yeah, like uh, this song, I it, it, like I guess it's it's obviously more like K-pop-y, but I I would be happy if this is the type of concept they go for with the final group is more like this. Oh, definitely, definitely. Because um, musically, I like it better, but. Also, because I think this isn't too, like, cutesy and childish, but I think the mm-hmm. younger members would still suit this uh, style well. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, you, have, so. you have people like Won Young, and you have yeah. uh, Anya Jin in here. So, it's it still managed to fit, like, yeah. it's still... It, it's not like straight up like I don't know like what's the cutesiest like be, like be, girl group you can probably think of like just to the nth degree I guess it's 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 not as bad as I guess yeah. we were, we would expect but yeah um um also another thing um when I was listening to them I was like I hope they remake both of these songs for the full group they usually because, do um at least because I definitely well, did they for one one no they didn't instead of for one one oh, really? they just made a they just made a one one version of never and released that as an oh. album only track but I don't I yeah. I don't I don't know if they've ever actually performed it live if you if they if you know if they performed it live please leave it in the comments because when we saw them mm. at I thought they would do it at uh at cake on New York but no they only did they they only did their songs so yeah like I I honestly I'd be happy if this was their debut I know it's not going to be but um yeah or if we got like a behind the scenes mv type of thing like they just recorded it back behind the scenes or whatever mm-hmm. um yeah i'd be for it uh also the other ones which i guess we can go into now if you guys don't have anything more to say well yeah I wanna, so i just want to talk about the high note more like i thought she did perfectly fine live yeah like she did it, great it sounded fine you didn't even you couldn't even hear the harmony so like that didn't matter at all the fact that they added that because for the live version at least um, I'm sure if they do like a uh, actual, well, like they put out the official recordings on iTunes and stuff, so it'll be more obvious there. But yeah, I thought Mew did like perfectly fine, and that's why I kind of agree with you that like I feel like they were they were really editing it to like make it seem like it was a big deal when it wasn't. This is this well, they is did the same call. thing with Guri with Pika and Pika. Yeah, it, it's basically yeah, like they fine, played fine, it like fine, seven fine, times. Fine, fine, like, fine. oh my god, she messed yeah. up. Yeah, basically, Dude. and I feel like a like lot if of you people... hadn't, well, what I was gonna say is like if they hadn't repeated it like seven times, I wouldn't even notice. Yeah, like, basically, not as much at least. Yeah, they really. I mean, again, they obviously it's 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 uh, MR, so they might have yeah. they the the live vocal might have been more uh, more garbage. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I more mean, rough. still, it's just I I do feel like they 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 play up to this, this is what they call evil editing, but I mean. Yeah, I guess it's just they do they do need storylines. So just sort of a tiny mm-hmm. note on the uh, on the recording session. It was awesome to see because uh, the the people that were helping them record it was uh, Bumju and uh, Dongho or Beko from uh, New West. Yep. Yeah, so cool. that was cool to see him come back and sort of help. I yeah, guess yeah, because yeah, I mean I'm Pletus, So uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's Pletus as main producer, <laughs> so they're gonna be there helping. Um and so yeah obviously as always they with the the final the candidate for center they always record a video and they look over and oh my god Cheon definitely deserved it because she was doing like she had like a dance break and like she did like a baby freeze and all that sort of stuff and uh I'm glad that she she, she peaked at the perfect time like again we were so worried that oh, yeah, she yeah. that she'd sort of like fall off but like she she peaked at almost the perfect time so I guess uh Jacob you kind of already gave your thoughts on the song so Nate what were your yeah. thoughts on the actual song Oh uh, yeah, I really like the song. Um, like I agree with what Jacob said. Like I think this is the perfect style to go for because uh, it's not too cutesy, um, but it still fits like a, a more traditional girl group. Um, it's kind of like an in between, like a girl crush and a cute concept. Yeah, because so um, I guess some of the like the some of the dancing and maybe the outfits you could be con- misconstrued as girl crush, but I'd say it's still a pretty cutesy song. Nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, and yeah, I think this would fit all, all the members really well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with the song. 
Uh, yeah, again, as for my thoughts, I mean, I was, I'm was i super happy that Cheon got the uh, center part. Uh, again, sort of, um, I know they, they really like played up the, the high note for Miu, but I guess she was fine. My only problem is, is I think they, everyone's sort of con- misconstruing this as conspiracy as, oh, they're trying to fuck Miu over. But I honestly think it was just like an honest mistake where uh, when she hits the high note, they cut the camera away. Like, very, oh, yeah, like, I think that was... Just that, a live production. Yeah, because I mean that's the thing. You always have to like live production. Like if you've if anyone's ever done like live production, you know it's just like, it's, it, like literally anything can happen and like a- everything will happen. So like you really never know. I don't think there was any malicious intent behind that, honestly. But I mean yeah. it's it's super unfortunate that it happened because I think I, she she did she did perfectly. Yeah, I mean uh, to be honest, I didn't even really notice it. Um, until like people said something or mm. like we read stuff and I looked yeah. back like, cause it's, it's not like it panned out to nothing and sat there for five seconds. Yeah. It like, it switched back to the performance like yeah. quick enough that I mean, it really wasn't a big deal. Yeah, it's just really the fact that it wasn't focusing on her. Yeah. That always happens in live production. Yeah. That always happens. Uh, I mean, other than that, I really appreciate almost. I think everyone that did like the bridge was a Japanese member because it, it was because uh, <laughs> it was uh, M- Miho and then uh, Hitomi and then um, and then yeah, um, Miru did the bridge or like the the high note oh, part. Yeah. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, just to, one person I really have to give shout outs to because she was really struggling with the choreography in some parts. Minju, she did a re- I think she did a really good job of standing out in this song. I guess maybe it sort of fits her um, image, so to speak. But yeah, I, I was mm-hmm. really happy with the, how much she improved, and she even got like singing lines in this, and I thought she did great. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think both performances were pretty were, were almost no, yeah, excellent. That, like there, there was yeah, no, like, no complaints on on uh, for either one, honestly. Yeah, we talked about just in previous shows and stuff i think just all the performances in general this season like the first like the first evaluation maybe not so much um but that's when you have all the trainees and you have a lot of the people that aren't as skilled but ever since after that the the uh, position concept and the and the debut Debut. evaluations all all the performances were rock solid Mm mm-hmm all right, so the next song is "Crush on You," uh, which I believe. Okay, so here's the original Japanese title is "Ski ni nacha daro." So yeah, sort of similar sort of translation. Uh, the members were uh, Kwanon B was the main vocal, Choyana was the center, and the rest of the yep. members included Miyawaki Sakura, Ikaon, Shiroma Miru, Kang Hyewon, Kim Chewon, Shitao Miyu, Takahashi Judy, and Han Chowan. So, uh, I don't know if there was as much of a storyline in this necessarily, other than mm. I mean, if, if if there was any, it was um, some of like, like I know Yena was having trouble with like the Japanese pronunciation, <laughs> and uh, like and like Judy and the rest of like the Japanese members are like, oh, they they helped us so much with our Korean, so they mm. they were helping them like learn it better. Yeah, they were happy to help. <laughs> there was like one part when like, freaking Yena pointed out. I think one of the one of the words was like the word for poop in Korean. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's, and it, it's actually it's surprisingly it's surprisingly close to the Japanese one because unko I believe is like uh so like the the Japanese equivalent to like poop or something like that. I don't know that where that. I guess it's it's probably like the the words are similar. Like with um like the the word for part time job in Korean is very similar to the one in Japanese. It's arubaito. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the same. It's literally the same. It's just pronounced differently. Okay. But no, what I think was is whatever the 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 Japanese lyric was sounded like the word Korean word for poop. Yeah, is what it was. I don't know what the Japanese lyrics were, but whatever it was sounded. Yeah, like Yeah, just how they broke down the words is really funny. But yeah, yeah. Again, it's a, it's another surprise where most of the people in this uh, most of the people in this group were Koreans. But I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. like besides yeah, some, there was going to be an even split ish because mm-hmm. there's twelve Koreans. Yeah. So, but I mean, but, but uh, like not not counting people like Khan who are obviously like super who are incredibly fluent but at this point in time in Korean or don't need or Japanese rather they they don't need much uh I guess like pra- uh practice or whatever. Um mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, w- thoughts on the actual song. Uh Jacob, I'll start with you again. Um yeah, the uh again, I I like this song as well. Um I preferred the other one. However, as far as like the stage outfits and stuff, I like this a lot more just because it's a little more like edgy and uh, yeah, definitely. you know, girl crushy, I guess. But um, 
Yeah. Also, the uh, the choreography in the beginning where they sort of like form a circle and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. yeah really um, cool set pieces. So yeah, I, I'd say like for like concept, I'd say this one would win. But as far as the song goes, um, I prefer the other one. So yeah, I I like this a lot actually. Um, also. Again, I was glad to see uh, Yana in the center because, uh, I don't know, again, like, she was one that always stood out, but she was never, like, the focus of any of the storylines throughout the show. It didn't seem like it, at least. Well, I mean, the there, there, there's I the watched. opposite. There's the opposite because, I mean, that whole the whole whisper thing where basically everyone's like, oh, why is she getting so much screen time or whatever. Mm. The whole, I explained that to you, right? Like, the whole, like, Pletus, like, Ueha and... Uh, Starship. God. Starship always got like screen time and everything, and everyone was. Oh just, well, yeah, that's because they're from the most like uh, famous companies and stuff. Yeah, like, so that's why there's. It seemed to be there was a there was a huge backlash in terms of voting earlier on that. So yeah, but I, I think I'm in the same position as you, where I like the songs for different reasons. Where um, for Crush on You, I definitely like the. It's funny how the song made the guy the guy that makes all of AKB48 and like all the sister groups concepts has is more girl crush than the actual Korean song like you'd think it'd be the other way around because like because J-pop really rarely like sort of uh goes into the territory of girl crush type music so it was, I guess it was mm. it was I guess it was a shock in that sort of way or just to see how I guess edgy the, um, the visual concept was yeah um, mm-hmm. but I mean yeah I'd say if I were to like break it down I'd probably like um the the first one, uh, just due to, or mainly due to, like, the actual, like, singing, or, like, the actual, like, vocal parts, or, yeah, but, and then where I just had, like, crush on you for just, like, the visual aspect and, like, maybe the choreography a bit more. So, <laughs> yeah, it, 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 yeah, I mean, like, again, both songs are excellent. Um, as for, like, my thoughts on the actual song, I think, yeah, Yena did a, Yena's a great, center so i think she she was a perfect choice because again she has uh she has a lot of stage presence for someone that's uh not that has never debuted really um facial expressions are always yeah she's she's very good at that definitely uh it definitely it definitely comes off as a j-pop song like with Mm. uh, like mainly in the instrumental like with just how like the sort of like the Da, 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 like the synth goes it's very reminiscent you can definitely tell that Aki P was the one that sort of produced it um I get it. if I were to pick between the two is which I'd rather they lean I'd, I'd love for them to lean towards this song honestly I, I don't know exactly how much they can reproduce it outside of uh or by with Korean producers but I mean I know Aki P is probably going to be involved with eyes ones um like he's probably gonna produce every like a couple of songs in Japanese and Korean as well, so I wouldn't be surprised. So I, I, it's it's cool. I really appreciate that he sort of like, even though it's a J-pop sending song, I really appreciate that he sort of like made the effort to sort of still have it appeal to the Korean market and not be have it be so alienated because I feel like you could sort of this type of song I think could still work in Korean. So that that's a really that's mm-hmm. a really important. Oh yeah, definitely. Aspect. That's a really important aspect of the groups where both song the songs are going to have to work in both markets and that's not easy to do because the mm-hmm. the, the korean market is so different from or like what they expect in yeah, Kore- from korean Japanese. yeah it, it, they're 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 two different beasts so that's that's definitely going to yeah. be the biggest obstacle that no no produce group has ever faced before um mm-hmm. so yeah i mean i i definitely enjoyed the song overall uh Nate, what are your thoughts yeah oh uh, yeah pretty much mirror exactly what you guys thought i thought the visual style was uh, well, I don't know. I really like the visual style for the Korean song too. Actually, um, it was interesting in this for this song. It was interesting what that they went with that style because it's, yeah, it, it didn't. I don't know. I, it didn't really fit. Like it wasn't bad. Um, but yeah, you it, it's similar to like twice as BDZ. Like it's not. You see the outfits and you Did don't you think like, that's oh, the type shit. of song you're getting. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, but I don't. I don't think it was bad. I liked the outfits. Um, and yeah, I like the song a lot too. I agree that you're, it's, it's definitely a J-pop song, but it, it fits the Korean mark. Like it fits Korean expectations still. Um, so yeah, I liked that. And, uh, yeah. And with the, you know, I was very surprised, um, but very happy. Uh, well, okay. I wasn't surprised because the girls voted on it. Yeah. And, and they, they we've knew seen her like, before. yeah. And they knew like how good she was and, uh, so it was between her and Umbi, and I think both of them would have fit it really well. 
And I mean, yeah. Unbeat did, Clan Unbeat did, did well. Like, she was the main but, vocalist. And she got the main vocal, yeah. Yeah, so. again, she's, she's really um, showing that... She, she's showing that she's not just like... Because she was mostly known for being, oh, she's the dancer of like the group yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And she, she, really, she really stepped up by uh, choosing a lot of main vocal parts. Yep. Um, so yeah, overall, I really like this song too. Uh, if I had to pick between the two, it would probably be the Korean song. Uh, but we together. To be honest, the third song is my favorite anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> you and <laughs> we'll get there. you and freaking sad. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's uh, not I'm, sad. It's sentimental. Oh, but it's gonna make you. It's gonna. I know. It's no no joke. If I if they ever perform it again live, I'm probably gonna ball. Uh anyway. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll go in chronological order. We'll get to that afterwards. I'll do the, so. I'll get the filler out of the way. Um. So after <laughs> the both performance or after the first performance, they or the performance of We Together, they actually sh- um revealed who was in 11th to 14th place without revealing who had uh what order it was. So, uh, so after like w- within the first hour of the show, the 11 to 14 was Miu, Chowan, Jaewon, and Hitomi. And whoa. Like, in first seeing this, I was just like, oh my god. Miu's gonna get fucked over. Like, from, from this, like, I knew, like, I knew in the bottom of my heart, like, someone's getting, someone's not, someone here's not making it to, mm-hmm. to, um, to eyes, eyes one. So, <sighs> Yeah. Again, like we'll we'll get to we'll, we'll cover voting more in depth uh, once we actually get to like the an- announcement of the actual members. But yeah, it, like that that was an ominous sign, definitely just from the start. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just go through some of the video clips. Like they were thanking the trainers. Uh, they had the oh um the I I think I mentioned in the last episode about the gorilla stage that they did in Japan, and like they actually went through like the video of that. So that was their. They were mentioned in season one. They did like a, they did a like they did busking event or something like that. Yeah, uh, the, they did a gorilla the, concert. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, you, it's not really busking because they actually had a stage set up and everything. Okay. Like a, it was, it was a concert. Uh, but yeah, they basically just all the the twenty two or twenty four twenty four trainees. Yeah, there were twenty four left in season one. Um, I think maybe I don't know twenty two twenty four. Uh, they. Uh, went and did all their concept evaluation songs. So, like, whoever was left from each team oh, okay. did their concept evaluation song, uh, and they did all five songs at that concert. And oh, they filmed it, and I think uh, one of the people... Oh, uh, uh, Emo, Wang Emo, uh, she hosted it, or whatever, even though she was eliminated. Yeah, so um, same thing they, like, uh, here with... It. Yamada Noe and Noe P yeah. uh, was yep. the host. Whoa, she cut her hair. She cut her yeah, hair. Yeah, it's really short. And no, it's it's funny because freaking Murakawa Vivian has long ass hair now. So they literally swapped hair. I'm so I'm, I was so <laughs> mind blown because like I can't, it's so weird seeing. I know Vivian had like long hair before, but like I just know her for having short hair. Like and produce, yeah. Yeah. Um. So obviously, yeah, it was cool. It was cute. Some like some of the some of the eliminated trainees. Uh got to uh say hi or like see everyone again obviously yeah one's gonna go over to her child satomi nami um i think there were some there were some actual members of akb 40 or the 48 groups um that went to like see apparently there's something called like showroom where basically it's like a v live sort of thing where they watch like they record themselves watching uh the produce 48 episodes and like they sort of like could mm. go through that sort of thing. Uh, I, I, th- I think just showroom is just like they're sort of like equivalent to V Live, but they've been using it to wa- like live stream pr- or to live react to produce. And I th- believe one mm. of them, okay, like one of them, um, like Megu. I'm not. I'm really not sure. Uh, uh, f- apparently, she was like a super fan, and like she was just like freaking out at seeing everyone. <laughs> so it's oh, really, really cool. It's really cool to see all like the 48 group girls like in, in, I guess embrace the um, produce 48 as well. Uh, yeah, it was really cool to see that they they performed in Japan, especially because oh my god! Well, it was they they basically crashed a handshake event, I believe, but still the crowd that was there like it went from like all the way to it's like a huge like auditorium like or I guess like a convention center and went it went from like wall to wall. It was so big, like I was I was mm-hmm. so surprised and love like they loved. Like all the Korean trainees, like they did their best to sort of like speak in Korean. <laughs> like Unbi was having like or was messing it up and like soccer yeah, started to... screwed up like yeah, <laughs> and they're all laughing at her. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see that, and, and that's probably just the taste of what's to come if if once the fi- actual like final group 
debuts in Japan. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> the next thing that happened was As I Dream, or in uh, the Japanese translation was Yume, mo, Yume wo Miteru Aida. I can't read the Korean, but this was the. Uh, they usually do a top 20, <laughs> like. Ballad type track. This one was produced by Iggy and Young Bay, uh, the producers for G Friend, and I believe Iggy, uh, under the name Oreo, did one of the, um, what did one of the evaluation songs? Yeah, uh, in the last. Or, yeah, they for did. Concept. Yeah, for concept evaluation. So yeah, yeah, obviously all of these ones are really emotional and everything. So Nate, I'll let you since you are the person that like it, it's triggered response at this point that you fucking cry yeah. to when the cherry blossoms it, fade. How did how did this song compare? Not, it, it doesn't anymore, but it definitely used to for a while after IOI disbanded. <laughs> um but uh no yeah I like this song a lot. It, like I said it's my favorite of the three. I thought it was really uh, it it's nice because like I said for this season there's a lot of really talented vocalists left yeah um and it really shined in this song and you even got to see uh trainees that you wouldn't consider like Vocal. talented vocalists do really well um and really be able to show their chops um so i liked it a lot for that i think the song is really good uh i was really happy that it was half korean half japanese i was hoping yeah. they would do that um or or have two songs um and i was glad that they brought that back for this song uh but yeah overall I, it was really good uh it was very reminiscent of when the cherry blossoms made i'm pretty sure the outfits were almost exactly the same uh, <laughs> yeah they always like, were like the i wouldn't white, be surprised like, if they reused dress. some of the outfits like yeah it was like the <laughs> yeah the light bunny. pink and white oh my um, god were yeah. like very similar um the formations were similar mm-hmm. instead of a triangle they did the diamond um but It was it was very very reminiscent of when the cherry blossoms made, so I was really happy with it. Uh, Jacob, what were your, what were your thoughts? Um, I actually really like this. I thought it was a really good ballad. Um, uh, yeah, it definitely reminds me of like something again. Like this is usually my point of reference, but it's like an SNSD ballad from way back when, which mm-hmm. I'm always for. Um, and yeah, I, I like that they uh, included like. It's all like the top 20 of the girls. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. They always, usually, yeah. They usually do. Like the the fi- everyone that made it to the finals uh, usually gets to perform the song. Yeah, yeah. for the ballad. Uh, yeah, my thoughts, I guess, are fairly similar. Um, the thing I really, oh, I was really. I was just, uh, cause there, there's a part when like Sakura is clearly like in the camera and she's just like crying. Like, I'm mm. just like, Oh, don't cry. <laughs> cause like they're in like the video package. They're like explaining like, Oh, this is, it's like, Oh, there, there was like a, there was like 98 of us. Now it's just like 20 people. So like, they're just like really reminiscing. And uh, just one thing we haven't even like touched on or whatever, but like in that video package, they were really, really like trying to bring, uh, or, or trying to like push the, the Sakura Cheon. Like shit. Oh yeah, that came out of nowhere because that, that like nobody they well, didn't no, show that, any of it. That was a huge thing. That was a huge thing actually. Every the the nickname for them is the Hotaru couple because remember in like no, the never even heard no, of no 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 <laughs> that you know. But the I'm headphone? just saying like before this episode they didn't really show it too much. No, they were showing it a lot. Surprisingly, were they? Just, I just yeah, never cause, noticed. No, because remember the like Cheon and che, like Sakura is like, like the biggest like Cheon fan girl like in the world, and you remember don't remember mm-hmm. with like the, the headphone game where like Sakura's like Hotaru, oh, yeah, yeah, Hotaru, yeah. she like that's what their, yeah. their nickname is the Hotaru couple, and like yeah, che, but it, and, yeah, yeah. So they they really started to push that. Oh my god, I that's my ship. That is my that's the ultimate ship of uh, Produce Forty Eight. Nah, really, Yena Yuri. No, 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 no. I, I'd still pick Hotaru couple or like Miru with like anyone because actually no, every it's like Miru with like literally everyone because everyone loves me. <laughs> even even all like the rest of the produce girls is like damn Miru's really hot because <laughs> she'd always get like the one two in like the visual rankings. So, mm-hmm. uh, let's see. <sighs> The other like the other like video packages were just them watching like their uh like their practice videos. The other one was like them reading the letters they'd write to themselves a hundred days from now. So obviously, and no, the nice thing is is that even the eliminated trainees got to read. They told them to like they were they were sitting off to the side and they 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 were able to open their letters and read them. And so everyone was crying and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So I guess with that, voting time. 
Go for it. Yep. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so there was a total. I believe I, I'm guessing this is from. I'm not sure if this was total or if this was just from uh, the one day voting. But they said they 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 gave a number of four hundred forty five thousand. Uh, wow. we'll get to this later, but the voting just in general was a huge step down in comparison to. Um, season one and season two. Like I don't know. Like apparently they yeah. used, they did some type of thing last year where one vote counts as seven. So I'm not sure if that was carried over hmm. into this season or if you voted on like during the the small vote. They had a voting block from the beginning of the show until like the about like the second hour where you could vote. And I don't know if they counted those as seven votes or not. But the winning the winning vote la- or to get first place last year, Kang Daniel had over a million. The winning pr- vote, or the winning vote to- total here was about three hundred thirty-five thousand. So yeah, I was gonna say Somi Somi was like one point two million. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, like maybe maybe it was because it was earlier. Maybe there was just like less interest overall. Because I mean, I've been looking at the rating, the, the Nielsen ratings, or like the 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 Soul Market ratings that show up on like Wikipedia, and it didn't touch uh, produce. Or produce one one season two's finale, and again, there was there mm-hmm. there was naturally going to be a dip because it's it's girl groups and there's not you don't get garner as much of an audience for girl groups unfortunately, but mm-hmm. yeah it was it was just an interesting sort of thing to see that the the voting the voting totals really like took a nosedive, so number eleven, two hundred twenty seven votes, Kim Minju from Urban Works now. If you're paying attention to us last, if you're paying attention to uh, the last episode, Nate and I were sort of discussing like, oh, what's gonna happen? Because in the uh, previous rankings, there were seven uh, Japanese uh, members and only and only like what, like five Koreans, basically. Yeah, just that's that's how it works. So, yep. I, once I first heard, I, I guess I will, we'll all go through our thoughts on them making the group, but I guess for me to go out, when I first heard this, I was just like, oh no. Mm-hmm. Oh no. And I mean, don't get me yeah, wrong, I, I've been, I've been, the, like, you can go back to the first episode, and I've been, I've been beating the drum for Llama Girl, but I, w- I had already resigned myself to her not making the group, and I had already resigned myself to the fact that there are probably more talented members that probably deserve to make it in the group over her. So I mean, I'm not as mm-hmm. I'm not as angry cuz I obviously love I love Minju, but this was just sort of like an not necessarily an omen, but it, it was just a sort of an indication of things to come. So Nate, yeah. what was your react or um, Nate? Yeah, it it was similar. So it was actually weird. So I wasn't able to. I didn't watch live. Yeah. And I asked Andrew what the ratio was, so I knew coming in that uh, most of the Japanese girls would get eliminated. Um, but I still wasn't sure which of the Korean girls would make it, uh, other than a couple that got spoiled, uh, which were people I figured were going to make it anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I when I heard Minju, I was a little, I was definitely disappointed because I have the same feelings as you. Like I, I felt like there were more deserving people. Um, I'm not as mad as about her as I am about another uh, one. <laughs> another one. I mean, people listening to this have already know who made it, probably. But uh, yeah. nobody's gonna listen to us for the the who makes it. Uh, but yeah, so like K1, I definitely am more upset about. I think if I had to pick one of the two, I would definitely have Minju in the group. Yeah, over. like ideally, um, you don't with because I mean, we you've been saying like like uh, like constantly about how there's there's so many good vocalists and so many talented people that just made it into this finale and I don't think I know there's an extra spot but I don't know if a group can sort of justify having two, two. visuals yeah. when there's just so much talent like being left on the, off the board basically so yeah exactly yeah that's that's what sort of made it like and before anyone misconstrues this as oh we're like fuck yeah. Minju or like fuck Kwan like before you before you come at us with like the shovels or like the the I don't know the pitchforks or whatever like we don't hate them it's just uh, I I don't know it's just that we have other people deserve to be yeah there basically more. and well, I yeah mean, and if you if you, honestly if you're not if you're not mature enough to uh, sort of differentiate the two uh but like between like not. 
There, there's a difference between hating someone or like having like vitriol or like being mean to them and not wanting yeah. them in the group, honestly. So, yeah. And I, ho- I, even, I hope most people are mature enough to sort of know the difference. Yeah. Even like, I don't even know if deserve is the right word because I feel like they probably all deserve to be yeah, there. To some degree. Yeah. The work they put into the show, but they don't. Like, we don't think they belong there, I guess is a better way to describe it. Over um, somebody ba- else. Like. Over, uh, yeah, because, and this is you know, for both of them, um, so this is kind of just getting into my hey one rant. Anyway, but, like, this is just how Korea is looking at this, where they're much more superficial, um, or at least the people watching these produce shows, it's much more popularity based who yeah. gets screen time, who has the visuals over the talent. Yeah. Um, and like, that's clearly evident on with the, this final group who gets eliminated and who doesn't. Um, but yeah. And, and for us, it's, we care much. We want a much more talented balanced group than, uh, here's a couple of visual trainees that, aren't adding much to the group in terms of skills. Um, they're just adding visuals basically. Mm-hmm. Here's the, here's the thing even for me, like the, those individual members will be popular. Sure. But mm-hmm. I, I feel like if you want the, what's like the best interest for the group, I think you definitely do want the more like talent focused members because honestly if the talent's there, they're going to blow up more than if they just have yeah. a bunch of visuals. Because I mean, whether Korea likes the visuals more or not, yeah. they're still. Either way, they're going to, um, you know. They're gonna like, accept them regardless. I mean, if you have the well, if you have the talent, yeah, but yeah, but like if if they have the talent, and they have the vocals and stuff like that. It's more likely to be a hit as far as the music goes, and yeah. the music is what sells. <laughs> you know, it sells records, obviously, but and I mean, yeah. th- look at like Lehigh gets gets a lot of comments like, "Oh, she's too chubby," or oh, "She's too." Uh, she's still, I mean, granted, she's in the YG dungeon right now, but I mean, she like her music was still super popular. So again, it's not always just visuals. But that being said, in terms of produce, the the long standing thing I've always said and I've always reminded myself that I've always forgotten or that oh I've always gotten mad in spite of is that produce. F- Produce 101 or Produce 48 is a popularity contest disguised as a music competition. It like yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I mean, that's the ultimate fact of it. I mean, like every, I'd say that that goes for any element of reality television where it's not like even American Idol. Like American Idol is literally just like who can rig the voting, <laughs> who can rig the voting the most, or like America's Got Talent, or like uh, any other competition show. It's basically like personality comes down to a huge factor of it. So it's just. It's just an unfortunate truth of they want to make good television, to, so they'll put the most interesting people, not necessarily the most talented people, in front of the camera. Yeah, honestly, mm-hmm. I'd like. I'm I'm curious what the group would look like if they left up everything to the mentors. like a judging. Oh, like a judging panel. I, I I'd, I'd oh, be yeah. I'd be so in favor for that. You you don't even yeah. know. Like I'd be so. Well, in favor I think because- they have the same feelings as we do. Yeah, because yeah. I, I like they, like in, with some of the reactions, like they were just like. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very obvious they weren't happy that he made it. Yeah, because I mean, and because again, we don't, we really don't want to turn this into like shit on here one day. No, but, no, I don't either. But there was a part in like the the like the like the video package where Bayun Jung was like literally like, you know, you're only here for votes, right? Like there was a part where she. L- she came out and straight up said it. It's like, wh- yeah. you know, you're only here for votes. Shouldn't your talent match like that level of popularity? And like she, ba- that's a, yep. that, that's an ultimatum if I've ever heard one. Where either get your yeah. shit together or you don't, you we we don't expect you or you, we don't des- you don't deserve to make the group. Um, another sort of interesting change, I guess. Again, we're, I, we'll just go into this like while we're at it. Um, there should have been a six six split. It should have been six Koreans, oh, 100%. Six, six Japanese, like from the like right out the like the gate because you know it was going to when you only give one of the countries a voting and also because uh, apparently a one, I think, uh, IOI like, had a lot more in of an international input like whereas in season two and produce forty eight they're really trying to crack down on people that don't live in Korea being able to vote. Well, I, I think I think what they should have done was uh, right out the. They should have gotten a. Was there, so was there a lot more Korean trainees and Japanese, or was it pretty? Yeah, young? it was something like fifty something to about like thirty something. I don't know. 
like or 40 it wasn't too crazy yeah it it, it, was supposed to be like 48 to 48 but yeah but i think what they should have done was yeah gotten it uh you know 50 50 split and then was like all right the final group is going to have six japanese and six korean and that's how it's going to be i mean yeah you're probably kind of restrictive at the same time you know but well yeah and the thing is yeah i think they should have done that turns it into like a parallel two different shows that going on at the same time kind of thing you know what i mean but not having any ending up with something like this is really sort of defeats the purpose of bringing Japanese members on in the first place. Like if Korea, if Korea wanted to vote for like ninety percent like Koreans, then you're just wasting like Akipi's time if you're not yeah. gonna if just, you're not gonna like. I, I mean, I, I get the, I guess they got exposure, I but for me, for me at least, I would have been happy with at least four, at least four. My but, minimum was five, honestly. Or four was like four was like me bargaining. Five was my absolute yeah. minimum. Yeah, I wanted five. Yeah, because there, because you could, and again, vocal are us like railing on and on about how good vocalists were. There was vocalists f- both from the Korean um, trainees and both from and from the Japanese forty eight group members. You could easily like it. It wouldn't be like. There, there wouldn't. It would not have been a stretch for them to do an easy six-six split. Like you can make a very mm-hmm. talented group splitting it like right down the middle. Honestly, yeah, I think, and that's. So if you had asked me after the second episode, I would have said no because the overall talent level of the Japanese trainees was significantly lower than the Korean trainees, and I, I would have say, felt like the six-six six split. No, huh? Skill level rather than talent level. Yeah, because yeah, I, Jacob, I, I, oh, did I say, did I say talent? I meant skill. Yeah, yeah I meant skill. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, overall skill level was much lower, um, and because of that, if you told me we're forcing six six, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, half this group is probably gonna be like very bad Garbage. <laughs> um, compared to the other half, and it's gonna be really weird and awkward. But as we got onto the show, I think they should. I because and I don't think they should have started saying there would be a six six split, even if they planned on there being one because of that. But as we got through the show, you know, we're weeding out the lesser talent, like lesser skilled members, and we're finding those Japanese trainees that are well AKB forty eight members that have that skill level mm-hmm. um yeah. and by the end yeah the the, ta- the skill level and the talent level all like was even pretty parallel it was equal um so yeah i think by like halfway through the show they should have been like oh by the way it's gonna be six six split and i think yeah you'd you'd have pissed less people off if you said that than if you said that at the beginning yeah i mean there was, um, th- there's no there's no way around obviously some, some people, people are gonna be pissed off yeah because i mean obviously like again we've sort of gone into like the the animosity between korea and japan so obviously there's going to be people that are like fuck all the japanese members we're only going to vote for uh, all koreans and everything yeah. but well I'm sure there were Korean people that voted all Japanese. Yeah, because they're, they're just like too, huge so. weeb. Yeah, like they're just huge weebs. And I mean, like, like if you know anything about Korean men, like I feel like, like they're, 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 remember, there's there are like actual like feminist like groups in like Korea that like hate the idea that um like because. Like a lot of like Korean men prefer Japanese women just because like they think like there are a lot of them that like they think they're the ideal. So like I like obviously and obviously like weaves and everything. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's like really skewed like I guess preconceived notions. But um, I guess like the sort of like narrative that I really hated was that everyone was like, oh like oh why are these Japanese like members on here in the first place? They have no talent. They're like in comparison to the Koreans. And by the same token, everyone just like let's put Minju and Hyewon in the fu- yeah, in the yeah, top exactly. twelve. Like it's you sort of lose any um, you lose any more like high ground in terms of your uh, in terms of your argument about skill if you're willingly voting um, just visual trainees. Visuals, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, it, and that's why I was saying for us, it that matters a lot more than to the Korean popular like yeah. pop, the voting population. And I mean, if you look at like if you look at us as truly Daybok. We like even with girl groups. I mean, we're, like, we're all straight dudes. We obviously like love Korean like pop for like one uh, like a very obvious reason. Um, one like, of them. Even, one of them. Um, like even though like again, it seems like it's everything's so mostly focused focused on visuals or whatever. Like even just like us as truly Daybok, we very rarely like ever focus on like I guess I don't know, just the 
necessarily like the fandom aspect or like the visual aspect or like oh they're pretty I want them like when it comes to like any music that we cover like almost 100% like almost all of the stuff that we or the the, the thing that we focus on is purely on the music so like, that, that, that's the, I guess that's sort of why we really don't like sort of take much stock in putting like visuals over talent because like we're all I'd say I, I'd I, I'm speaking for all of us here, but like we're all like music aficionados. Where that that all, all music is paramount to a music group. So as much as yeah. I get, as much as the fandom and like the I guess just like shipping or like biases are an important part of K-pop, I'd say it sort of matters less to us. Whereas we really care about the the music aspect of it. I know yeah. I know not all K-pop is like that. Again, like K-pop is very. It's very entrenched in like the the notion of I guess worshiping like very beautiful people, mm. but I mean again we mm. we're coming in as music fans first, K-pop fans second, I believe. Yeah, yeah for, and I mean, for me, uh, go ahead first. Go ahead. Okay, I was no, saying like, yeah, Se- <laughs> mine's not. Uh, so yeah, like seventy five percent of the time I listen to K-pop, it's in the car. Like I don't have any visual aspect. Yeah, like, I'm. It definitely when I first started was yeah okay I was just I didn't have any music I was just watching music videos on YouTube so it was very visual or watching performances, um but yeah by now like I usually don't watch a music video once or twice yeah I just listen same. to the I I watch the live performances and I listen to the songs like in my car or whatever, um so yeah it's definitely not a big deal to me at all. Yeah, so for me, like, I don't know, like, I'm very, in real life, like, I'm very open about that. I'm, like, a huge fan of K-pop and stuff like that, and a lot of people make the assumption that, oh, you only like Like this because you're into Asian Asian girls, and I'm like, (laughs) no, you don't, like, no, go listen to Stray Kids. Well, yeah, and a lot of of people, too, they think think K-pop is only you know cute to girl groups like twice yeah. and i'm like no you have a fundamental misunderstanding of what this is mm-hmm. and, 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 and it's, it's it's stuff like this that sort of like or just situations like this that sort of give us or give a lot of k-pop fans about or that really appreciate the craft like a bad name and i mean i, yeah. I don't think there's 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 nothing wrong with sort of like loving the fandom aspect of it just but just understand that like it's it's just something fun to be a part of that's that's yeah uh extra for me at least like again like the reason i'm into this is like it's it go, it goes back to i guess uh, a fundamental trait of mine is that i love things to be very nice prepackaged and they just work kind of thing <laughs> i guess uh which is why you usually have that goes yeah yeah i that's <laughs> that's exactly why like, i i have an iphone because like i don't need to customize all this stuff i want it to work perfectly and i want it to be beautiful K-pop does that in a music sense. Yeah, K-pop is literally and, like K-pop is like the Apple product um, of music, where it's just where everything's yeah. supposed to be like it's perfect. It's literally like the people are perfect. They get plastic surgery and everything. Like yes. the music is perfect. They're 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 specifically yeah. designed to be. But that, the systems right. surrounding it are garbage. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> hey, hey, same as Apple. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was getting. It's, at. it's a yeah, perfect. I was making a joke. Yeah, it's, but it's the company. But anyways, um. Like, where I was going with this is it's, like, uh, I'm very, like, middle-brained, I guess, whereas I'm very analytical, but at the same time, I like things to be nice and beautiful and perfect and stuff like that, and I guess that's where my art and design stuff comes in, Mm -hmm. and K-pop does that for me, like, in the music sense, and taking this back into produce, uh, I always keep that in mind, is, like, I do, as much as I like the visual aspects, I, the whole, like, it just works type of thing, like, you need the the talent and the like uh you know musical knowledge and talent and stuff like that is what really drives a group uh totally mm-hmm. you know what i mean so mm-hmm. yeah like as much as the visuals matter and they really do help uh as far as like the whole packaging i guess aspect of it goes the uh you know general functionality of a group i guess Again, I'm I'm speaking in like tech terms because well, I'm mean, a programmer, yeah, it, it but really is, you know, like, like it's 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 all due to the legwork of the you know the people who have the you know the talent in the group. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? mean? Yeah, just to sort of like relate it back to my profession, which is shoe design. Like you can draw the prettiest like again like for women they design the prettiest like pumps and heels and like shoes and wedges and all on the face of the planet, but if they hurt like hell. 
you shouldn't wear them. But, I mean, people still do. But, I mean, it, form over function. Or, like, function over form, rather. Like, that's the... Yeah. Or more a happy with, medium of both. Yeah, like, that works for everything where, again, like... If you want all visuals, just make like I don't know, like a freaking, uh, j- j- just make a modeling group or like I don't know, just something like that. Like YGK like, plus the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, just join YGK plus if your if visuals are your uh, main focus. Anyway, um, so yeah, we were on Minju, uh, who came in at number eleven with two hundred twenty-seven thousand votes. Number ten from Wulim Entertainment, Kim Che Won. I out was of super nowhere. surprised to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I, think I she's didn't know good. she had such uh, a following. Like, she's a really talented member, and I'm actually happy to see her there. However, like, she wouldn't have been in my top 12, and I definitely yeah, wouldn't have... Yeah, I know. Uh, I, w- I definitely wouldn't have uh, expected her to be anywhere close yeah. to the top. Yeah, it was like, her, for me, like, her and Miu, Miu, uh, she told me you. like got like no coverage at all the last like few episodes so yeah. there was like no way i was i was like neither of these people are ever making this group um and so i was very surprised to see her at 10 um but yeah i think she's talented i think uh i'm i'm happy she's there but yeah i wouldn't have put her in my top 12 and i wouldn't have put her in my predicted group at all either um yeah i mean but yeah Again, I, I was rambling, like, last episode I was rambling on about how much I was, like, falling in love with Chewan because she fit, uh, she fit, like, her concept so well last time, but, like, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's just because I wasn't as big on her since the beginning, but, yeah, I would, of this group, she'd probably be one of the first people I replaced, honestly, if I were to, like, mm-hmm. sort of swap in my ideal group, and again, that's, yeah. that's no disrespect to uh, Che Wan, because again, I love her, it's just, I feel like there could have, I could have justified that's the, t- the 10 spot for uh, more people. But yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still happy, like, she's, she definitely grew to be one of my favorites, so I'm not too salty about mm-hmm. this. Number yeah. nine, the first Japanese trainee, and at this point I was like, oh, thank God, I thought it was going to be all Koreans. Like, honestly, mm-hmm. at this point I was mm-hmm. just like, oh, if it's all Koreans, I swear, I'm never watching Produce ever again. Like, it, if it ended up that, like, that lopsided, I think every, like, yeah. no one in their right mind could have justified that. But thankfully, we got, no, AK, not. We got AKB48's Honda Hitomi with 244,000 votes, and we have a Japanese member, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nate... Yeah, so for me, I was really happy. I when I was watching it, I like, I wanted Hitomi. Like, I thought Hitomi deserved it more than any of the other Japanese trainees, just because of how hard she worked and oh, the fact that she was in top twelve the entire show. And like, yeah. imagine how disappointing it would be for her to not make it. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I like I would have put her in over Sakura or Nako. Um. Like t- as someone I felt deserved it. Uh, so I was very happy because when you like, like I said, when when I found out there were only three Japanese trainees, I was actually worried. I was like, "Is she gonna get knocked out?" Um, but luckily, uh, she had a a very solid fan base throughout the whole show. Um, yeah, she I definitely she deserved it. Yeah, she had. A, she had, she seemed to have a really solid Korean fan base. I guess they just really because she has a such she has like her a, cheeks, her cheeks, and she has such they a they contain voice. our hope and hopes and dreams. Yeah, basically. Um, Jacob, what was your first reaction? Um, yeah, I was, well, I saw it all at once, so, like, it's kind of different, but, um, yeah, I was happy to see her in the group. She was definitely, she definitely would have been, like, if I picked six Japanese members, she would have been in there 100%. Yeah, easily. So, yeah, like, even from the beginning, like, she, like, instantly was taking very well to learning, like, choreography and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, I think, um, you know, her, I guess her work ethic and talent and stuff like that definitely showed and I think she definitely was one of the ones who most deserved to be in the group. I'm super excited for what what will happen to her career when it comes to um, like so sen- yeah, so Senkyo ratings because uh, I, I double checked. She never ranked until last year, where mm. or uh, this year rather, where she got 89th. And I have a feeling bec- she might shoot up. She might she might have like a good shot of making making like the making like the the. The, the top group which was uh which is Senbatsu yeah. I have a gu- I have a really good feeling about her exposure how many people are in it, uh top like Senbatsu uh, so Senkyo so Senkyo is again like it's so Senkyo also Senkyo is 100 where yeah but like how many make the oh, top okay, group okay so it's like let me like sentimental train is it like 24 or something 
I'm checking it right now if you're wondering. Okay, yeah, I was uh, sure 16 members. 16? Okay. Yeah, see, it's, see, it's... See, it's... Senbatsu is 16. Undergirls is 16. Next Girl is 16. And so on, so on, so on. Yeah, so yeah, it's... 16, yeah, 16. yeah, until they get, like, a... Uh, a hundred or whatever, however many get, make it. Um, so yeah, they they just they just try to keep it as even as possible. But see so yeah, that, but mm-hmm. they really again they really highly value uh, making Kami seven or like the the if you make top seven, that means you're a top really popular, yeah. a really popular member. Um, anyway, number eight, Kang K one from AT Creative got two hundred forty eight thousand votes. Again, we kind of railed on her already, so I don't know how much we have to. Uh, if you have anything else to add in terms of, okay. uh, I, again, it's nothing against but... her. <laughs> okay, it's neat. <laughs> or no, no, let Jacob go. For yeah. me, it's nothing against her. I just don't. I don't. I don't think she should have even honestly made it past week nine. To be honest with you, <laughs> in my opinion, that's my hot take. I, I guess. I, I mean, like I, she, I mean, I agree with you. It's just that she has a. She, she has like a. She has an army, and they're they're gonna just, come it after doesn't, us. It just <laughs> doesn't make any sense to me. Nah, like, it doesn't matter. Like, all she ever did was, well, I, I, in the episodes I saw at least, like, all she did was rapping and she wasn't really that good at it, so. Yeah, nothing changed. You know? Yeah, um, honestly, like, she, so or one of the things that, again, like, Bayon Jung was sort of, like, saying is that if you're still here and not showing an improvement, that's an insult to, like, the train the trainers and, like, the people at Produce that are that are yeah. investing their time. And if you're not, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredibly selfish for you not to sort of improve and i mean I, granted i'm sure there's people gonna come after us like oh she improved and everything but i didn't see it i'm sorry <laughs> yeah uh, yeah that's exactly my thoughts like uh, my problem with her i have no problem with her personally obviously like we're not attacking her or anything she's adorable like my problem with her making the group is she never improved at all and yeah. uh, like it it bothered also she has like literally no expression <laughs> like her face, her facial expressions literally never changed the entire show. Let me go find. So, like, yeah. so she had like didn't have a personality other than being like shy and unconfident, which Koreans love. Uh, which is why yeah, she that, made that, another that, reason why she made it. She yeah, was the pretty... like shy, unconfident girl. Um, Here, that was hold. not. But I'm gonna mess up like, overlay for a second. But I'm gonna link this like the picture, like what, her main picture in the in the uh, in the. Uh, like her main picture on like the TV ing thing is just like literally yeah, her, yeah. like the blankest expression. <laughs> yeah, all of them, and that was no, her expression all, all the time. Yeah, like all the pictures um, are the same expression. <laughs> but that's not like yeah, but really the the impro- not improving at all like is my biggest problem. A lot of people compared her to Sohei, but that's like really insulting yeah, to no. Sohei because if you watch season one, watch Sohei's. Uh, like debut or not debut, like her whatever introduction performance, yeah, like the first evaluation. and then watch watch her performance in Full Moon uh, for uh, dance position. That that was that was halfway through the show, and the amount she approved was insane. Um, and so like yeah, like Sohei was not good, but she showed clear improvement and willingness to learn throughout the entire show. Um, so yeah, that was that's my biggest problem with Heiwan making it. Uh, apparently, the sort of like the three things that sort of appealed to her again, like that's that shy and innocent look, or that that deer in the headlights look that Korea seems to yeah, love. Yeah. Um, two, it, they they Mnet was or the show was really pushing the the sort of like oh she's she's Minami's mom and like oh yeah, isn't that, that a too. cute relationship yeah. thing? And basically, they're just recycling the Kang Daniel Iwujin storyline from season two, yeah. except Kang Daniel kind of justified his. His like rise in the rankings because he like I he, he definitely has the talent, but I don't think like Kiwan's not a Daniel, and I don't think that's a controversial statement whatsoever. And number three is everyone loved her because oh my god, One Piece, she does the Luffy thing and everything. So all the weebs are like voting for her and everything apparently. And you know my th- and you guys know my thoughts on One Piece. I think it's garbage. So <laughs> not garbage, but that's oh. another topic. No, my ex I liked it. No. My ex liked it. That's why I think it's garbage. <laughs> I have no thoughts because I've never watched it. I never want to watch yeah. it. Anyway, uh, number yeah, overall seven. From, oh, god. Uh, I just have closing thoughts. Like basically, overall for me, Hyeon's basically that kid who like never tried in school but like barely passed. <laughs> like it's like the yeah. person that the, she's like the person she, that didn't do anything did the in the group project. Effort. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, that's yes, what, exactly. Yeah. That's yes. a very good description. <laughs> yeah, basically she gets she gets an automatic A. Um number 7 from Wulam Entertainment Kwon Eun B with 
252,000 votes. I'll go here first. Thank God. I yes. swear, if Quad NB didn't mm-hmm. make this group, I was going to flip a table. Like, you got to be kidding me. If 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 the Korean voting populace didn't put her in here, I would have... I, I would have been so mad, honestly. Like she's, mm-hmm. she proved it like easily. Like she's the only member of rumor. Like spoilers a bit. She's the only mm-hmm. member of rumor that made it into the final group. A rumor. What the yeah. hell, <laughs> <sighs> Jacob? Uh, for me, yeah, she was on my short list of people that were like required in the group for me. So I was definitely uh, happy to see her there. Like her, her vocals are good. Her dancing is good. Her leading of uh, ability is really good. Um. Yeah, like throughout the, she was always very helpful to everybody she was working with, and yeah. uh, you know, always tried to, I guess, just help everyone and stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely wanted her in the group because there's only positives to be gained from her being in. Mm-hmm, she's like definitely. easily one of the best people in the show. Yeah, most talented. Mm-hmm. Like she's she's the mom figure, and you always need that in yeah. in one of the groups. Just like how like yet like Nate, you said basically I was Nayoung, whereas in uh, one one that was like Jisung, just like someone that's mm-hmm. older and knows how to take care of them. Nate, what are yeah. your thoughts on? I know I, I know you you liked Kwon B as well, correct? So yeah, yeah, same thing. Yeah, she was she was up there on my list. Um, I thought yeah, all of her all of her attributes fit really well. Yeah, it, leadership singing dancing she was good at everything um i think she's gonna be a really good leader for the group um Mm -hmm. she's the oldest yeah um and she has that leadership skills from being a uh, trainee for seven years under uh um so she and she basically is the leader of those trainee girls um is which is what they said early in the show uh so i think that'll help a lot and remember, she debuted uh, under another. She debuted. Yeah, under I had no idea name. about that actually. Yeah, I, I mentioned that too. But like again, like Did you, I, I, I must have. Yeah, I forgot. No, I mentioned that in like like the second episode where like she yeah. like, her stage name was Kazu because like because it was Kazu and like she had like blonde. She looked so different. Like she looks so different yeah. from now. Like it's so funny that she's just the same person as the as that group. But yeah, yeah. she definitely deserves to debut. Number six from HKT48 Yabuki Nako. Nate, I know you, you, you're a knockout stand, like first and yeah, foremost. Now yeah, at this point. I think Sorry, uh, uh, during recent episodes, Nako pushed Eugene out as my main bias of. Uh, oh, of I thought it was. Just, I thought it was just like between Japanese trainees. It's like you like you like. Oh no, not anymore. It's it's all. It's just it's gone full fledged. It's just like all hardcore Nako stand. <laughs> um, because she's just completely adorable. Aww. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I, once again, like, yeah, I was worried. I figured she was in, um, because of how high she, like how well she was being voted in. Uh, my guess, like, is the, the three Japanese trainees were the ones I figured would make it once I found out there was yeah. only three. I was a little worried because Miho's giant, insane rise to second place, but I figured that she would also just fall off the same just as quickly. Um, and I thought it would be the three that were like the most stable in terms yeah. of ranking, um, which was Satomi, Nako, and Sakura. Um, so I wasn't too worried. There, I was definitely still worried because uh, I was worried for any Japanese trainee basically making it other than Sakura. Um, but yeah, I think she's she's talented. She's adorable. Um, everyone loves her. She's going to be the super aegyo filled cute member. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> she's the shortest member by far. Yeah, she's tiny. She's which like 4'11. Adds to that cuteness. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think even like even on top of that like we talk about like it's not a, as much about visuals for us or like personality like she is talented too. She can sing, she can dance. Um and she can do it well. Uh so, and I think she'll fit with what this group will be trying to go for. Mm, um, definitely. So I was really, and yeah, I'm obviously really happy she made it, but I think she fits the group well too. I'll go next. Um, yeah, I really, I love, Nako just really started winning me over, I guess just from day one, honestly. I mean, she, I don't think she was my favorite, like um, Japanese member or like necessarily my favorite overall, but yeah, Nako definitely deserved to be in this group. And again, with me like watching all these clips of her and AK Bingo, I can't wait. I want to see all the variety stuff. And yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it'll be think? interesting to see them go on Korean variety shows. It's going to be so oh, interesting yeah. to see them go on Japanese variety. Oh, yeah. going like, both. I need, like, 
I need the, I need just I need all of the Korean members in this group to do like the cicada like blowing thing Oof. where they have to. Oh my god! I'm so excited for that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited it, to see them at the, on the other end go on like idol room and the Japanese members have no idea what's going on. They're just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, that's that's gonna be interesting. Like Donnie and Coney just like teasing the hell out of them, but they're like, huh. <laughs> they don't understand. He's like, hi, I yeah. don't understand you. You can't hurt me. Your words can't hurt me. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Knockout totally deserves to be in this group. Um, yeah. I definitely, I could probably say this right now. Knockout is probably my bias in this group. Nate, would you be mm-hmm. able to like put that money down right now? Oh, yeah, 100% right now. Yeah, Knockout's my bias. With uh, Cooper's dumb rule that we follow, we get three biases. So, oh, ooh, ooh. Because there's 12 members. Wait, Actually, I think so. I came up with it, but. Either way. Was it you? I thought no, it was, it was Jacob. Yeah. It was Jacob. For Jacob, every Jacob, full set of Jacob's four, you rule. get every completed set yeah. of four, you get a bias. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if okay. there's 11, you only get two, but if there's 12, you get three. Okay, so then we'll, we'll, we'll determine our biases later, but right now, like, my my, my, old, my Oshi in this group is, is is Nako. So, Jacob, what were your thoughts on Nako? I know you, you loved her as well. Um, yeah, I like I, I definitely wanted her in the group as well. Out of, again, out of the Japanese members, like... Um, the three that did make it in were pretty much the ones that I wanted. If if I had to pick three, probably, like if mm-hmm. you put a gun to my head and said pick three Japanese members, I'd pick those three probably. If you put um, a gun to my head and told me to pick out of the only twenty that made Japanese. it, that is, yeah, that'd be um, super hard for me. You know, <laughs> I'd probably yeah. shoot myself. I'd be like, why? Why is there only three? <laughs> I'd rather die than pick three. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but, honestly, um, seriously, I'd rather die than just only have three make this group. But here I am uh, suffering. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, Nako's really good. Um, she, you know, surprised us early on with her vocal capability and stuff like that. Um, also, she's like really tiny, which is kind of funny. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that definitely worked out because you usually hear about like, oh my god, they're super tall. I'm gonna vote for them. Nako's probably like one. Of, it. Where, like, that's one of the few cases where the inverse is, like, helps. If you're just super short, yeah. they just love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah if you're really, yeah, because it makes you really cute. Yeah. It was like Yu Jung was the same. Well, you got the Wait, nice, like, dynamic Yu of... Yu Jung's, like, 5'3", I want to say. Oh, my mm. God. You just... <laughs> so, and you she's, get, she's in the same group as Doyon. Oh, poor girl. Well, no, yeah, exactly. That's what you got the... You got the Yu Jung Doyon dynamic in the first season where Doyon's, like... 5'9", and Yujung's like 5'3", and they're yeah, best Doi- friends. Taller than I. And they're the same age. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. That's super Wan funny. Young's taller than Doyoung. Oh Wan Young's only God. 14, so that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Freaking Wan Young's taller. Wan Young is like so much taller than Nako is, and yet she's she's so much younger. Mm-hmm. Okay, number five from Starship Entertainment on Yujin. Okay, Nate, I'll let you go first. Mm-hmm. I'll let you go first. Yeah. This, this is, this uh, is yeah, your number was, one. Well, former number one. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I think, I think number I one Korean. would still, yeah, yeah. She's definitely my number one Korean pick. Um, I honestly don't know who I would pick if I had to choose between her and Nako. Um, I think I would have picked Eugene because of where she stood last at last ranking. Um, and that's why I was really happy she made it because I was actually worried she wasn't going to because of all the garbage. But I figured once we hit the end, like when people. Like her, like the fact that she dropped out last evaluation or last elimination would push her fans to vote, um, and push more people to vote her back in, uh, which is what happened. Yeah. Um. Or what? It, yeah. So I was I was really happy to see her there. I think once again, I think she fits the group really well. She's talented. Um. She's charming. Like, I think, I think she's a good package for the group overall. Jacob. Um. Yeah. For for Eugene again, she was she was another one that I was happy to see in the group. Um, like overall, I don't like I was happy to see her in, but like if I had to pick, uh, pick twelve, like usually I try to stay away from having too many really young members, just because yeah. I feel like, I feel like fifteen and fourteen and stuff like that are a little too young. Like even Somi and and Iowa, I think yeah. was was too young at the time, so but. Young. Um, she, she has a talent and, uh, she definitely deserves to be there though. I'm not going to take that away at all. So Mm -hmm. yeah, I was definitely happy to see her because she was doing well throughout the entire show. Again. Yeah. I mean, I, I would, 
I explained my thoughts last week on um, on on Eugene, and I mean, well, I'm glad to see her in this group because I I always thought she was one of the most charismatic um, trainees. Despite my grievances with her performance uh, uh, last week or the week prior, uh, she I I could still probably see myself replacing, making uh, her expendable if I could bring in another Japanese trainee, and that's it's super hard because mm-hmm. it's 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 so hard to nail it down to just even just six like Koreans, but yeah I I, I could see her as becoming expendable at least for me. Number four, from Weha, Choi Yena. Did you want to go, Nate? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I want to get, uh, the next like two. I want to talk about so okay. much because it just blew my mind. Um, I because Yena like, was like I, what like in the last thing she was like what like sixteen. She was close to the bottom. Yeah, right? yeah, she, yeah. Really Yena was Yena used to be in the top for a couple, but she was never solidly in the top twelve, yeah. and she dropped off, and I. Like if if you asked me to predict this group, she would have been nowhere near this group. Her and the next member, like, would have been nowhere near yeah, this group in terms of who I thought was gonna make it. Mm-hmm. But I both wanted I wanted both of them to make it really badly. Okay, um, so yeah, the, in, in week eleven, but, she did. She was she was sixteenth and shot 16th, up all yeah. the way to fourth. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think a big part of that was her being center. Yeah, for the Japanese again, song, one hundred percent. Same thing happened to uh, Ha Sang Woo and Bae Jin Young last year, where they were almost out of it. Where and they ended up in in the they ended up in Wana One because they they just because again, there's a lot of people with like free agent votes, so to speak, where they're just like, oh, mm-hmm. I see this person, I'll vote for them, and they just they yeah yeah because their people are already out. Or yeah, whatever, that's a like thing. Their favorites, but like, they still want to follow the show. Yeah, that's a huge sort of th- thing that you have to take, take into consideration. That when a lot of the a lot of the trainees were eliminated in episode 11 a lot of the voting mm-hmm. blocks were like okay they moved on to another member of either the same company or another korean like the most yep. like i'd say what we can explain this the best is a person that their their one pick or their two pick was a korean trainee are more likely for their one pick to pick a korean trainee as opposed to a, a japanese member from the 48 group at least that, that that that's the that's the impression that i had honestly mm-hmm. yeah uh, Jacob, or were you done? Nate, um, or did you have anything? Um, else? no, yeah, yeah. I just, I, I think she, overall, like, yeah, she showed she deserved to be there. Um, even if I never expected her to be there, and I think, yeah, I'm just, I am happy uh, that she made it. Yeah. Uh, for me, Yena is one that I actually would have included in my top twelve, like in my head. Um, I think as far as like, uh, like we were like ragging on Hyo for literally just being a, vo- a visual, but I think like Yana is an example of she is a visual, she has the facial expressions and stuff like that, but she's also a good dancer and she's also a good singer. Mm. So, like, you know, she actually, yep. you know, brings an entire package to the table, whereas, you know, everyone's just cute. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, whereas, um, yeah, like, Yana, again, she. I, she got such a bad like reputation among fans or whatever or like she was yeah. receiving a lot of comments like oh they why are they focusing so much on her she's only a visual like she has no talent or whatever but I'm just like okay I get like Amnet been doing that a lot with like a lot of trainee or like a lot of like the pretty yeah. ones or the popular ones but I Yena would probably be nowhere near that uh, sort of impression for, at least f- yeah. for me because again like from day one I was just like wow she's good like and I mean if, if you're impressing us that really don't care all too much about the visual aspect of it in comparison to like the actual mm. skill i mean th- she must have some level of talent i don't know maybe we're crazy but yeah, the, yeah. She, she got a lot of hate so i don't i think yeah, the, the, yeah. The, i think she'd, she'd probably draw the like her and here one might draw the most criticism in terms of uh the, the final lineup of eyes one yeah like but i, I really i really don't think you know deserves any of that you know no 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 he's got the talent it. to back it up yeah he's got the extra skill to back it up i should say yeah, definitely. Number three, from Stone Music Entertainment, Joe Yuri. Okay, Nate, go 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 for yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah, this came out of literally nowhere because she was like 18th or whatever. Um, and I was, yeah, once again, like, I was floored to see this happen. It This was definitely the biggest surprise out of the whole oh, lineup easily, for me. Oh, easily, easily. Yeah, um, right on the dot, 18th to 3rd. Especially... Se- uh, 
Yeah, especially the fact that she got third. Like, I didn't expect her to make it at all. And if I did expect her to make it, I expect her to make it at like bottom the Tw- three, like, like, the, like ten the last to twelve. Spot, like, maybe. yeah. yeah. Um, so the fact that she got third, like once we were getting through those numbers, I was like, okay, she's done. Cause there were so many good trainees left that I assumed were 12th, uh, which we'll get to, uh, in terms of the people that are eliminated and stuff that I was like, she has no chance. There's no way she's in this group anymore. And she was still like, she wasn't in the 11 to 14 range when they first announced yeah, exactly. it either. Like yeah. after that point, I was like, Oh, anyone below that's just like done for basically. Yeah. But she wasn't below that. She was way above it, which is crazy. <laughs> what the hell? Um, but yeah, I'm. I was ecstatic to see this. Um, she's probably my favorite vocalist left on the show. Um, I definitely think she's one of the best. Uh, so yeah, I, I was insanely happy to see this um, happen. I'd say the only sort of like conspiracy theory that everyone has going on is like, hmm, someone from Stone Music Entertainment actually made it into the final group. And CJ is uh, CJ owns Stone Music Entertainment, so like everyone's yeah. thinking there's some of yeah, there's some fuckery going on in the back in behind mm-hmm. the scenes where somebody that was like oh we'll put her in uh, third <laughs> yeah like that's it's just like oh if you're gonna if you're gonna like fund the results shouldn't you put her in like twelfth or something 11th, like that yeah yeah because yeah they, I don't know I mean like, she, she had a lot it. of fans she made the top twelve before. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. She just dropped the the last three eliminations were so volatile in terms of going and back and forth between yeah, lots of Japanese, lo- not a lot of Japanese. Like, yeah, um, and this it was just, just this the it swung the other way and like yeah. put her back into a a slot. I think I don't think there was any conspiracy. There might have been. Who knows? But I guess I'm happy even if there was. Yeah, I mean, even, sure, even, put her. Yeah, in. even if there I'm is, because really I mean, she made honestly, it. with what we had so far, who the fuck was going to be the main vocalist? Honestly, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. We have Nako and we have. Have like unbe, but like you, you, you need like you need someone like this. You had no one group. that could belt out notes. Yep. Like, yeah, I mean they, they would do. have if they picked a certain uh, Japanese member, but we'll we'll get to that. Later. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, J- Jacob, but, were you? Yeah, so were you as big on uh, Joe Yodi or? Um, I was a fan of her. However, again, like in my 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 top ten, my top twelve in my head, she probably wouldn't have been there. However, I'm I'm happy with her in the group because again, she's got she was really good in the uh, as far as the vocal department goes, and uh, yeah, I was also happy to see somebody from from idol school who didn't make it actually get in somewhere. Yeah, so yeah. Poor Gyori, though they really like they yeah, really but she destroyed. Didn't need to make a season I, from it. I didn't. They destroyed yeah, I was gonna say. I didn't think they. I didn't want her to make it. Yeah, I, I didn't want I her, wanted to, make her it. to get far. I think we talked about this in some of the early episodes. I wanted her to get far and then go back to from us with the confidence that she gained, and I, that's exactly yeah. what happened. Yeah, and I mean, she's. I probably, mean, they already said she's going back, so she's probably my second um, favorite member of From Is Nine now, like <laughs> just behind Dior. Yeah. But like, yeah, they. She got what she needed out of Produce for 48, and mm-hmm. I think, yeah, Joe Yordi probably would have been a more deserving member of the Stone Music Entertainment trainees. Mm-hmm. Number uh, number two, or I guess we'll just do number two and you number one at the two same and time. One, yeah. Because they, they had top two nominees were Sakura and Wan Young, and at this point I was just like, mm-hmm. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh, like, don't get me wrong, like, we all love Wan Young here, I where is Khan? <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> well, we still have twelfth. She could be twelfth. No, she can't. Unfortunately, oh, but we'll get out. there. Um. See, at this point, I don't know. Like, I re- at this point, I was just like, okay, okay. If you're only gonna have three like trainees, you only have three Japanese members. At least put Sakura in the center position. But it ended up, Don <laughs> Wong Young, number one with three hundred thirty-eight thousand votes. Miyawaki Sakura, Born in 2004. at number two. <laughs> Born in 2000, she was, like, <laughs> Won Young was born the year I started middle school. Like, imagine that, honestly. Like, Oof. Nate, you were probably in, were, you were probably in high school already. No, I wasn't in high school. Uh, no, I started in 2005. Oh, okay, so was was almost there, almost there, but still, like, this is, like, she, her birthday was the day of the, fi- like, the, the finale. Yeah, yeah. She was 13 throughout the entirety of the show until the last day. So... Yep. I don't know. I guess I'm I'm already going on about Wan Young, so might as well. Uh, she definitely won me over. Like I, she was definitely one of my favorite members of Roland, Roland. But I still wouldn't have had her as my one. I don't know. Like I still feel I would like I could probably put like three 
other like cur- Japanese members ahead of Wan Young, at least on my own list. And I, don't I know, know, man, Wan is her middle name. <laughs> is that that's if that's true. really the if that's really the <laughs> only reason why she made number one? I swear. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just it's another situation of where like much like with Somi getting the one spot, it's just like the a super young member just gets really like high or just ends up being the center of of the group. So again, obviously the question comes into play. It's like, Oh, is it like all these creepy ass uncle fans doing it? Or just, I I think it's, I think it's mostly uh, women to be honest. Maybe they're just like, Oh, she's really tall. I'll vote for her. Well, she's really cute. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I I could, I, I I, I see the appeal. It's just, I wouldn't have put her as my one. I mean, would, would either of you mm. guys put, put her? uh, Uh, no, I, I'd put her in my group, but I like, if, if I wasn't, you know, worried about age, I wouldn't, but, yeah, um, I wouldn't put her in one, though. Nate? It's funny, because I, I don't think I would put her in my group, just because there's too many. Like, I think she deserves it. I think she fits it. Uh, she definitely has a really good stage presence, especially mm. for how young she is. Um, and she definitely has that idol, that idol feeling about her. Yeah. Um, but there's just so many people I liked in this like top twenty that yeah she wouldn't have made top twelve in my in my personal mm. just based on who I liked and how the like like level or just the mix of talent I wanted and the skills I wanted yeah I don't think I would have put her um I knew she was gonna make the group uh, yeah, I didn't expect was, her to be one she was appointed um, at the, after a certain point like. She, yeah. They, they sort of they, they made the pivot from Yujin and Gan or like Yujin and or Gan and Sakura being like the appointed ones to sort of like yeah. one young being the appointed one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so yeah, I knew she was in there. Uh I didn't expect her to be one. I wouldn't have put her at one. Um like even if I or based on my like predictions or whatever. Yeah. Um but yeah, I th- she definitely deserves it. I think she she put in a lot of hard work and she fits the center role and she it's the same as Somi like like JYP said in 16 like she has that idol quality to her like mm-hmm. even if she's not the most talented um member she she just fits that really well yeah I think uh she she's good as far as stage present goes stage presence goes and I think that does go a long way because she's good at dancing, she's good at the facial expressions mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I definitely, I think she has room to grow in vocals for sure, but I think she definitely has potential at least. So I, um, that's why I think like again, if I wasn't like worried about age and stuff, I she'd probably be in my group. But um, again, like I, I just feel like weird about people born in two thousand three or two thousand four yeah, being that, an idol. You'll get over it. Like <laughs> I'd say that was like H- Hitomi's probably like the only exception to that because I I just feel like she I have her anyways as an exception, but yeah. Yeah, I'd say that was my sort of main objection to her being ranked so high. I mean I at, at a certain point yeah I did accept she wasn't gonna be in the group, but man, at least like I guess my ideal group would have been a more mature group in terms of concept and members, yeah, well, but like because, you're 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 really in a pickle at this point because you can't you shouldn't be doing sexy concepts with a fourteen year old. Yeah, well, also again, like even if you're doing cute concepts with groups, there's an unavoidable like sexual aspect to it. Yeah, like where you know, like like uh, most of the male and fans. I just it just that makes me uncomfortable that they could be in that situation and in, in yeah, other people's I, minds. I guess. Yeah, I mean that's I guess it's just up to the fans ultimately, but yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just a rough situation altogether. And also, like when you really think about it, like it's I guess it's just hard to tell because one young is super tall and like looks super mature for yeah. her age. But we had a thirteen year old doing a lot of sexy songs like on Produce Forty Eight, and I guess just like the yeah. thought of that, like she was in like I believe she was in Mamma Mia, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, even I so. Rollin' Rollin' was kind of like yeah. pushing it too. Yeah, so I mean, like, I, some people might be less subjected to that, but I don't know. It's just, yeah. it just brushes me the wrong way when that you're already mm-hmm. trying to sexualize someone that young and let her be a kid, yeah. goddammit. And I, 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 that's why in this case, I hope they don't even, they don't touch like anything like sexy concept, honestly. Like, yeah. Because even, even after, like, even at, like, the very end of this supposed, like, two and a half year contract, she's not going to be old enough in my eyes, at least. And, I mean... Yeah, it, that's... 
like that's that's one of that's one of the things I didn't like at first about AKB48 was like a lot of the members start out when they're like 12 years old. And I'm like, no, they are way too young. Like I mm-hmm. like if if I'm I'm not for regulating stuff usually in government, but if I was in Korea, like I'd be like in Japan, I'd be like. They should be like at least sixteen before they debut in an idol. Yeah, group. probably. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like the whole point but, of the like AK like the forty eight group like debuting <laughs> people so young is that they're yeah they're trying they're basically in training even though they're already in the group. Yeah. Whereas here in Korea, yeah. like they expect you to be a finished product um, by the time they debut. Yeah. But I mean, hey, like mm-hmm. who knows? Honestly, yeah, and I mean, like that's just. Japan and Korea and East Asia in general yeah, does, doesn't Asia. care. There doesn't care as much anyway. Like I, yeah. I agree with you, but yeah, like yeah, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they they don't. Yeah, they sexualize girls way younger than America yeah. thinks is acceptable. Uh, and before we forget, yet Sakura got number two. Um, yep. Yeah, no surprise that yeah, she no made su- it. No surprise. Was near the top. If she didn't make it, that would have been that would have been stupid. Honestly, yeah, like, that would have been insane. Like she she was easily as the as the remaining face of uh, the forty eight group because Judina was uh, because Judina had to leave. Also, of the sickness. center of picking. yeah, she was yeah she was the freaking yeah she was the center of Nekoya. So like that's all that's almost a guarantee like. That would have been cool if she was the first. She made it first as well. Yeah. And I feel like, again, mm-hmm. that would have helped bring more balance to the fact that they only had three members. It's just... Yeah. They one thing one I in. do want to point out, like, uh, is, like, the, getting first really doesn't mean that much anyway, though. There's no. so many formation changes. Like, you're the center of the group, but, like, the formations are changing yeah. all the time. Everyone's in the mid, like, depending on what part you're singing and, like, everything. Like, it's not like she's going to be, Wan Young is going to be the center of every formation for yeah. every song for the rest of the group. Yeah. Like, Somi, people were complaining when Somi wasn't the center of like dream girls are crushed all the time it's like that's not yeah. how that works like or no, if you yeah. look at Wa- work that if way. you look at wanna one like how much is uh kang daniel actually like the center of attention in that group it's usually because yeah. it's usually a lot of the times it's the main vocalists or whatever that yeah exactly that draw attention yeah. so it's not always going to be one young so i guess it's fine in the in the long run but yeah i don't know if yeah. i would have had her first um yeah. so there's one more spot on here. The last, the number 12 well, spot had four nominees, which were Chowon, Cheyun, Miho, and Gaon. Um, I guess just what were your initial thoughts when you like heard that they were like the the bottom four where like only one of these members would actually make it into the group and one would be in the bridesmaid spot and the rest would obviously be eliminated? Nate? Well, the first thing I noticed was, well, depending on where... It was uh, it was Miho or Miru was the only Japanese one. Uh, in the no, four. it was Miho. Or, sorry. It was Miho. Miho. Miru it was, was Miho. Okay, yeah. Miru yeah. was yeah. like dead last, but, which was stupid. Yeah. We'll get there later. Well, it blew it blew my mind that I was like, okay, depending on where Miho is, literally the bottom trainees are all Japanese, mm-hmm. like twenty to sixteen or whatever are all Japanese, um, which is a far cry. Considering the previous elimination was major, the majority was Korean. Oh, except for except for Heyun. Heyun, Heyun was, I guess. The, yeah, I forgot Heyun was, um, still in there. But still, like, yeah, the fact that they were all so low, uh, made me angry. I was kind of, like, as much as I wanted like Gan and Chowan to make it, I was kind of hoping it was all Japanese trainees, so we would and yeah. Chan. Like, I as much as I wanted all three of those girls to make it and thought they deserved it. Part of me wanted it to be all four Japanese, so we were guaranteed at least get a fourth, fourth. member. Yeah. Um, especially considering how high they were all ranked the last yeah. elimination. Yeah, again, um, M- M- Miho was top two last time. So. Yeah, Miho was second. Like, yeah, like, it, so yeah, that that really threw me off. Um, but yeah, I, it was it was who I expected um, to be. Uh, if they li- if 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 you asked me, okay, here are the rest of the trainees. Who are the four candidates for twelfth? I would have named these four people off. So yeah. like, it didn't surprise me at all. Um, but I yeah, it was. I mean, I had a lot of emotions. Like, well, I guess I I still had hope Gan would make it. Um, obviously she didn't. We we know Chan made it. Yeah, Chan made it. Um, yeah. she was the, but she, she was the lucky last person. Yeah, like. As they named people off, I was just like, I was like, 
okay, Gon can't make it, like, please be Jayon. Like, yeah, no, I really didn't want to disappoint her, like, have her disappointed again. Miho was 15th. I was just, like, yeah. during this section, I was, like, I was angry. Like, vis- I was, like, literally mm-hmm. angry at, like, why did why did this why did only one of these yeah, members top have to fourteen make? only had, uh, top fourteen had three Japanese trainees like at least all so. three of them got in but seriously yeah 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 <sighs> yeah for me for me my reaction to number twelve was like thank God Chan is in the group because like from the beginning I was like why is no one paying attention to this girl and uh, <laughs> at the same time I was like again where's God where is like God? where yeah. is she why couldn't they both what? be in the group <laughs> yes exactly like ah uh, yeah I don't know if we should, we will do this ever but like I'd like to do like. Maybe a topic in Daybotcast or something telling like what our top twelve would have been. Oh, I mean, we could we could probably like mm-hmm. do something like just maybe put out on Twitter, just like if people. Oh yeah, know. yeah. That's actually let's just do that. Yeah, because uh, nobody's gonna anyway. like mine probably. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I pick. I pick. How I'm many like, Japanese you know trainees are there? <laughs> Seven. Seven. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> it's oh like, fuck you, I, I, <laughs> There aren't even twelve left. Yeah. Or are you? Oh, are you saying our, our top <laughs> out of all ninety six? contestants are top 12 <laughs> i mean like you or know like, no we should do that we should top do that. 20 because like out of my top like i guess i could do both because out of my top 96 like or out of all the 96 like judy now would have been heartbeat like in there like she'd be immediately mm. in my group but that wasn't to be um so yeah uh i guess with cheon i was just like oh my god she doesn't have to like suffer or she didn't get kim samuel she didn't get kim samuel mm. and i was so afraid of that yeah, happening and instead <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of yeah. no. There was a lot. Of, no, Khan got Khan got Jung Yun. Um, Takeuchi Miyu got Kim Samuel. Yeah, if, if that makes any sense. So, um, there was a meme where like you remember like uh, Infinity War spoilers. Uh, there was a meme. It was like, did you do it? What was the cost? It was like, did did Cheon debut? Yes. What was the cost? <laughs> was like, and it's just like all the gone. Japanese. <laughs> it's like gone. all the Japanese Chinese. Gone. I was just like, like oh no. <laughs> Oh like, yeah, the, the, the meme is hit too hard, unfortunately. So were they all like like turning into dust? <laughs> I don't feel. Uh, what's what's the Japanese for? I don't feel so good, Mister Star. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I guess like I kind of just want to go off on a rant here a bit. Um, see, so yeah, no Miu, no Miho, no Mido, no Miho, no, no Gan, no Chowan, no like all these people that we thought would get in. The the re- the the split between Korean members to Japanese members is seventy five percent to twenty five percent. That is a more uneven split than twice. Twice has mm-hmm. a more like well, twice has the same yeah. Twice has the same number of members Japanese members while having three less people. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the freaking G Idol G Idol has is is more diverse than freaking. Well, yeah, <laughs> you, G, G Idol's half Korean. Yeah, that's a, uh, what the. <laughs> I don't know. It's just that I think seventy five percent international. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> technically they're Korean, but they're Australian. Korean. Yeah, that's the fun. Like, they, there's they called this a global girl group, and yet mm-hmm. this Most is what K-pop we pop groups are more global than it. Yeah, like also the global is ca- global was BS from the start because it's just Japan and Korea. Like and most K-pop Korea groups voting. are way more global because yeah. there's American and other and, and like, yeah, when, when, when Korea has like the voting by the balls, how can you really call it a global girl group? Whereas yeah. IOI, you have multiple English speakers, you have people from America, you have um, you have pe- you have um, yeah, Chinese IOI members. Is more global. <laughs> yeah, what the honestly. What the I, well, one one, one one had like one Lin. What the hell? I wish yeah. they would have just done global voting with uh, captcha behind each vote, so that freaking people can't <laughs> spam bots. But yeah, I feel like Knets would be so super pissed because there's a lot more international oh, fan. Like but they'd be they, super pissed, they but I mean, get pissed. yeah, well, they can get over it. <laughs> yeah, they can get over it. We want an international. That's like girl their group. job is to get pissed. That's all they do. Yeah, unreasonably. Um. So yeah, I'd say that's the m- the main reason why I was so angry at the end of this is because ultimately you're just wasting a lot of these people's times if you're not if you're mm. not a lot of the like they they, they sacrificed like their their stable like positions in like AKB48, SK48, like etc. 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 to be on the show and you don't reward them like this like I don't know I just part of me just feels like this might just be again. 
it just swung way too much in terms of like nationalistic oh, yeah. pride and that sort of thing and I hate well, I I'm yeah. it's just you didn't want to see it ultimately and I mean okay I have nothing like don't get me wrong I have no invested camp in either in either Korea or Japan freaking Japan like invaded and occupied the Philippines my parents had to my grandparents had to hide in the fucking jungle from the uh, like the Japanese insert like the military and like Korea and China and the rest of like Western Asia looks down on Filipinos so it's not like I have any particular biases in terms of ethnicity it's just the entire point of the show it should have been more even than this nonsense mm. so yeah yeah I, I mean, think that's on Mnet overall and C today for yeah. not enforcing the split and not allowing Japanese people to vote um I think they should have allowed the whole the, world to vote but or me. yeah or yeah but at least I don't like know they I allowed think the whole the, world to do mama like yeah, yeah. different so why not I think yeah, I think that we talked about this before, but I think the original idea that we heard was perfect, and it sucks that they didn't do it, where Japanese people can vote for Korean trainees and Korean people can vote for Japanese trainees. Yeah, yeah so nobody um, has any I think that would have been perfect. Um, but and they just adjust unless, it for population or whatever. Or yeah, 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 exactly. The, each person's I, vote counts the same amount or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's definitely ways that could have gone wrong if it just became like horrible where people were voting for the worst people on both sides yeah. and then you just get like a complete trash <laughs> the worst group. group but i don't i don't think that would have I happened mean, I, that might be more um, interesting than i eyes one not gonna be not gonna lie just to, if, just to if, see if them they be the worst the complete garbage people god I mean, that would be it'd a be, nightmare yeah it'd be so interesting it'd be interesting but i don't know if you'd stand them um, and i mean again but like, yeah I, a lot of people are kind of misconstruing them for hate. It's like, oh, why are you... You shouldn't follow, like, Eyes 1 if you're just going to hate in the group or just, like, why are you just being so negative? I mean, I get it. I get it. There's a lot of people that are happy that their they're, they're one picks or their ultimate, like, members made it into the group, but... I didn't make it. I know. I know with Kieran Chan. She didn't and, even make it to the finale. Yeah, which is stupid. Uh, like, I don't think... Like, this is just in general. Just because you're not happy about, like, the final outcome of something doesn't mean that you ult- automatically lose your hey, the ability. Yeah. Like, th- uh, like you lose the ability to voice your opinion. Because, I mean, we all invested we all invested the same yeah. amount of time. To, maybe maybe oh. not Jacob, but, like, we all well, invested. I couldn't. Yeah, we all invested <laughs> the same amount of time into Produce 48. So, but, for people to say that, oh, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to, like, have any, dis- like, problems with, like, the, the lineup or whatever, that's bullshit. Like... Plain and simple. <laughs> yeah, but it, all, it also doesn't mean that you hate the group. Yeah, no, I like, don't hate the group. You're still going to follow the group. You're you're still going to buy yeah. their stuff, even if you're not happy with the full outcome. Like, it's it's almost impossible for, ever, like, anyone to get their ideal group. No, like, it's that, not going to happen. That's, that's never going to happen. Um, like, even with one so, like, I, 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 it wasn't even allowed, close. You're allowed to like the group and still be upset with the final results. And yeah. I think for me overall, yeah, I think overall I'm happy with this group um, because so many people I didn't expect to make it made it. And mm-hmm. I think yeah. they deserved it. Um, but yeah, the the split, the fact that so many Japanese people, uh, trainees weren't able to make it. And the fact that Gon didn't make it were the two things that really hit me and made me upset. Um and then obviously, because that led to me being upset that Minju and Hyeon made it, um, because I felt like they were taking spots of people who deserved more, mm-hmm. deserved yeah. it more. Um, yeah. Not that I hate them or anything. Yeah, again, yeah, uh, we have yeah, we, we have no personal malice against anyone that yeah, made yeah, exactly. it to this group. If you're so, yeah, if you're on the internet like making death threats and stuff, like fuck yeah, off. Like yeah, that, that's, what is that, wrong with you? That's not acceptable. Like, they they. They worked hard. They were on the show. They participated. Like, they deserve to make it just as much as anyone else, even if we're not happy that they made it. And then again, on the other side of the coin, don't use, like, oh my god, this one person out of a billion people made death threats, so all people that hate Eyes 1 are garbage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, don't try to extrapolate the extremes of either opinion as what the, like, general consensus should be, because... I, I don't but know. Yeah, like, 
be like everyone I think should be more reasonable about it but I mean just let people mm-hmm. be happy and let people be unhappy <laughs> ultimately yeah. Yeah. again we, we we all we all made the time investment so we're allowed to feel the way we, we feel yep. Yep. Uh, so I just wanted to go through I guess sort of our like really quick before we wrap up the show um just our predictions about what we think will happen with the the bottom eight um just as a side note there's a huge campaign going on right now for bottom eight to be made into like a, a debut a group, group. The the name is mm. called Fortunate. Fortunate, because <laughs> like they're fortunate. I like yeah, I, yeah, I'm all for it. Um, there's never been a JBJ I, uh, IBI sort of group out of um, the bottom eight, but in this case, I they they have a legitimate shot or legitimate reason to because I it would work. To some degree, I'd, I'd probably stand Fortunate more than I would Eyes One, and I have a lot of mm. people in Eyes One that I love. It's just uh, the, the thought of this bottom eight making it, being one group is just too enticing for me. So yeah, just yeah, really quick, yeah. just give our all our thoughts on what we think the future will be for some of the the bottom eight. So first was the what, what yeah the cube and uh, well, actually no cube didn't get the 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 bridesmaid position last time, but um, yeah so. Chowan is the thirteenth position. Uh, what do you guys think uh, will happen with her? Uh, we talked about it a little bit, but she'll be in a group after a while. She's G- going to be training again, I think. Well, I think no, yeah, I, I think, don't think she'll be in G Idol. I, I don't think definitely so. could see it. Uh, um, I could see it because remember we CLC. Saw, yeah, exactly. We talked about the last a couple of uh, the last two episodes a little bit, but I I really wouldn't be surprised if they added her G Idol because mm-hmm. they have the propensity to do it because they added Unbeam to CLC. Right after okay. Bruce season one, um, so they're definitely not afraid Maybe to do, do that. It then. Um, granted, fit- CLC needed a boost and Geodo doesn't. Yeah, they um, probably wouldn't. But but I I really don't wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, I think she could fit in that group well. Oh, she uh, fit but then perfect I, piece like easily. Yeah, and then I think the other option i don't know if cube is able to do it or because they've never really done it before but have her be a solo singer that focuses more on like ballads and osts and stuff i could see well they they have done that before with somebody they had in k-pop star shinji yoon oh really she kind of disappeared (laughs) <laughs> and I mean, she oh. from what and, she said, she likes more of like the girl crush type songs better. It's just she? that okay. she just so, so she happened, does. she just so happened to She's be super really amazing. good. At, yeah, I'm, yeah, that's why we're just like leave Cube right now. Go to like, or, I, yeah, go to like I don't know, freaking like Mystic. Go to JYP or and get button the new girl group. <laughs> yeah, go, that, get, oh. go go participate in sixteen too. Oh my god, you would fit, that, fit the, that group. The salt and the tea that would come out of that. Um, uh-huh. Jacob, yeah. uh, you gave your thoughts, right? Just you think she'll, you yeah. think she'll be a, a trainee again? All right, next. Yeah, probably. Someone that we thought would make it, Econ. Uh, what do I you think? think she's she's either gonna do solo debut or I heard I saw a rumor that she'd do like a duo with uh, Hao Yun Jin, but. We'll see. Oh, I'd be I'd totally well, be down for that. Honestly, I I don't see any other option for her because she's after school's never coming back. Um, yep. She's, I, I, I really don't. This, this probably was her last shot at making a girl group. If you're, if we're completely honest, and yep. everyone kind of knew. Like, if you look at the end of the, if you look at the end of the, like the, the like live broadcast, like everyone runs over to Khan and they're just sobbing, yeah, yeah because yeah. they feel so bad that she. Again, it's 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 it the same as Jonghyun, yeah. where like. Except this time, like nobody from Pledis made it. Whereas, like with one with one one, there was one person that made it at least. So, yeah, like yeah. everyone was just like, "Oh my god, you do!" And I don't know. I, I if I was, she handled it with incredible poise oh, and yeah, grace. Yeah. I, like I was, I was shocked at how well she handled because she just got she just got embarrassed on national television. Like, yeah. To to be this like tenured and not make it, and I mean, I guess there was just sort of backlash for her. She everyone. I get the main. I guess the main problem I have with a lot of like Korean idol culture, at least when it comes to females, is like if you're a guy, you can be like sixty fucking whatever, and they'll still love you. Whereas with female idols, you have a use by date. If that sort of like, yeah, thing if makes if you sense. didn't get uber popular like SNSD or something, like you're yeah after a certain age, like people just you're too old, less likely to care about you at all. 
And I mean, there, there's some idols that even if they get popular, they're just like, oh, you're too old now. We're not. We want the super young girl. Like they, they don't want. They don't want you if if you're in your 30s, unless you're like an iconic group, like freaking like SES or something like that. Basically, mm-hmm. it it sucks. It sucks that that's sort of like the reputation that they treat um, female idols with, and they don't deserve to be treated that way. And I. I, I I don't. I hope this isn't the last we hear of uh, of Khan, and I don't think it will be. I mean, Nate, what, what, what were your what were your thoughts ultimately? So there's some crazy rumor going around that I don't believe at all. It's probably just coincidence that like there is going to be some combination of like Ha Yoon Jin and uh, Khan. The no, and the Stone Music trainees, uh, like the oh, as so like people are calling them the. Uh, first class or whatever idol school first class um, so like Yuri and the other people that didn't make it that also don't make this group mm-hmm. uh, because I guess they were seen with Pletus's producer and another girl that people thought was Ha Yoon okay um, I don't think that's actually gonna happen but I don't know maybe she gets put in that group too if that's a real thing and not that I think that's likely um, I could it, like I would, he might be producing a song for that group but I don't think it that just because he's Pletus's main producer means that there's going to be a Pletus trainee, yeah, like cross group with the yeah. Stone Music trainees. Yeah, I don't um, think that'll happen. But yeah, I, I don't think that's happening. Uh, I will really wouldn't be surprised if they do a duet. A duo. They definitely seem, or yeah, duo. Uh, they definitely seemed um, like really close, uh, and they can they can do similar styles. Uh, I think they would fit really well together. Um, and yeah, after school is dead. So it's definitely that or a solo, um, or if she goes to a different company and, but if she goes to a different company, she's probably going to do solo stuff anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, like you're saying, like, it's weird, but she is past the age where she's going to be able to debut in a girl group because all the girl groups mm-hmm. that are going to be debuting are going to be way too young for her mm-hmm. to match with them. One of one thing that I think could be cool is if they graduated everybody in after school except for Khan, and, and then they added new, new trainees. Mm, yeah, it's like, like second could be class of after thing. school. I yeah, think that I mean, would be cool, but I mean yeah. that it was the whole point of the group is yeah. it was supposed to be an ever go- ongoing group because yeah, like graduated like supposed to be like that too. Yeah, yeah. But then Orange Caramel got popular, and they're like, "Well, we'll just yeah. focus on Orange Caramel and throw away the rest of the group." And speaking yep. of AKB, like. She should she should definitely consider promoting in Japan because again she she's got great she's got name recognition from the show so I'm sure there's a lot more Japanese people that will recognize her she speaks it fairly fluently so like and I mean did after school promote much in Japan or um um I think they did I don't know I mean yeah I, they, they there, definitely there, had singles there has to be a reason um, she I, became so fluent. Orange Caramel was probably huge in Japan considering the type of music they did yeah um so I, I, I know they had singles too so i wouldn't be surprised if she sort of incorporates japan into her uh into her future promotions all right next uh miyazaki miho from akb48 what do you think what do you guys think will happen i can't talk on the akb48 (laughs) members i don't know enough about j-pop okay i guess i'll just i guess i'll just give my thoughts honestly she's she's probably done like I think she graduates because she is my age. She was born in '93. She's 25 years old. Mm. Um, as far as I know, she sort of she was like and the appointed one in AKB48. Mm. Again, she was she was competing with Kami Seven at one point. Uh, she's lost popularity because she kind of gained weight because of puberty. So everyone, like I don't know, people think she's ugly. I think she's I I, I think she's adorable. I love I love Miho, but mm. yeah, I think I, I, I think yeah. Go ahead. So I was just gonna say, like you were saying, like for K-pop, like there's a there's, there's a, a use by date, date or whatever. And that I feel like in J-pop, it's, it's even, oh, like it's so lower, much more like, strict. Way like lower. if you're like they don't want they basically don't want anyone in, in like their mid twenties in AKB for in the forty eight group because you're way too old at that point. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think she's gonna graduate soon. Yeah, because she's her days are numbered, and I don't really know where she'd go after this in terms of like her career path. Because she's not, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure if she's ranking as much or if she retired from uh, Senbatsu rankings any or Sosenkyo rankings anymore. So, yeah, I don't, I don't see her going anywhere. I guess I'll just take care of most of the AK, like the AKB and NMB um, trainees. Uh, Takashi Judy, uh, 
I didn't expect her to make the final group, but I she has a pretty secure standing in terms of making uh making or ranking pretty high in this in So Senkyo. So there there's a shot that because of her exposure in here, she might make the the top sixteen. So she has a really good trajectory. Um, Nate, I know you'll probably want to talk about this as well. Uh, Takeo Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, go ahead. This is, this was your girl. But yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, we uh, she announced she was graduating a couple days ago, uh, which we kind of expected, or at least I expected. She said she literally said in the last episode in one of the interviews that like this is her last chance to be an idol. Yeah. Um. So I took that as if she doesn't make this group, she's done with AKB48, and she's gonna focus on producing. Um, and focus on like just doing her own stuff with her YouTube channel, uh, which she's clearly promoting a lot because it's all over her. So all of her mm-hmm. social media links to it. Um, and it's, she's very, she's promoting it a ton. So I think she's definitely going to focus on putting out her own stuff through YouTube and, uh, producing. Again, I, I mentioned this before on our Twitter, but I, <laughs> I think JYP takes a look at her, honestly. Yeah, I was going to say, then my crazy dream idea was that she... She's she, the bang uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, my crazy dream was that she decides to leave AKB48, JYP picks her up for the Japanese, the J-pop group they're making, um, and she is their main producer, like bang is for Stray Kids. Mm. Um, that's like my crazy pie-in-the-sky dream that will never happen, but I came up with, and I was like, god if this happened it'd be crazy yeah um but i don't think it will be or it will happen but it would be cool if it did i mean again, side note well, uh after school was actually like did pretty well in japan based on their yeah. like so their sales and stuff yeah god well, has they, a future they, in japan they hadn't re- they haven't released anything since 2013 in korea but i'm pretty sure they did something in japan in both 2014 and 2015 so uh, just 2013 if I recall 2014 correctly. 2013, uh, 2014. Oh no, yeah, Shine. Yeah, promotional. Yeah, there was something in 2015, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, with Miu, um, yeah, again, JYP would be stupid not to take a look at her. She's, she has the talent, um, she has the experience, she has the vocals, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hear something about that or her being signed by Korean um, entertainment company. Uh, I, I would, that would, that's not entirely out of the question either though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'd like her to go to somewhere that can sort of give her the creative control to sort of produce her own music. Yeah. More um, more like indie or labels. Yeah. So maybe someone was throwing out an antenna. Maybe that could work. I could see her yeah. antenna. Uh, yeah, she, she I, she's the one that got Kim Samuel. She's the one that got Kim Samuel where super talented person, didn't necessarily have the personality to appeal to, I guess, the the sensibilities of somebody that loves reality shows, and she got fucked mm-hmm. over for it, basically. Um, yeah. yeah, so she, the thing that really breaks my heart is that uh, the reason why, you remember uh, when she was number 30, and she didn't get or she didn't even get to give a speech. It's like, oh, like thank you or whatever. Like that, it had to be like a like a v like a after like recorded thing, and like everyone yeah. ran over to her and she was just like sobbing. It turns out her grandfather passed away like the, that 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 same like week or whatever, and hmm. basically she promised her like she promised her grandfather, oh like as like a a gift. She she wanted to like debut in Korea just like to honor him and everything, and yeah, he passed away and. I guess like the thought in her mind is like, oh my god, I'm gonna be eliminated and are at already, and I guess she was just so overwhelmed with, uh, overcome with emotion and everything. So, mm-hmm. yeah, just super like sad situation. Obviously, like our thoughts go out to her, um, and her family, and her mom was there too, I believe, at um, at, at the, the finale. finale. Yeah, so it's just, <laughs> yeah. And it sucks. She never got a chance. She never got. A, she never really got a chance in AKB. She never ranked in the Sosankyo. She got maybe like a couple of. Uh, I don't know if she made any singles, but I like. I know like she maybe she, like every time they had like vocal focused songs, that's where she'd get to shine. But I don't know. She didn't really have as much of a following. Like honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if she has more Korean fans than she does Japanese fans. So Japanese it's just fans, yeah. Yeah, dude, she's she's the tragedy. Like her and Gon are the tragedies of uh, this finale. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. uh, Shitao Miyu, I really don't know. I really don't know much about. Oh, so I was gonna say, like, 
it blew my mind that she made it to the finale considering she was on like literally the only thing I know about her was the hair thing that they showed a yeah, billion the hair times. Thing, like her, that's all I her knew. Pull it, like taking her ponytail and like letting her hair down at the opening of uh I don't even remember what song it was. Um but yeah, like I have no idea how she made it to the finale, and nothing against her, but like she got literally no screen time in the last like four episodes. Yeah, and I she don't just know kept making from. it through eliminations. I didn't understand it, so I, I was like, "There's no way she makes it." Yeah, in this group, there's no though, way that she makes it the, in, into the even final. the finale. She literally she probably got like three minutes of screen time total in the That's finale. That's being generous, honestly. <laughs> yeah, like she did not show up at all. So like. Yeah, that wasn't I, surprising. I don't know what her future is in in she's because she's um she's a member of Team Eight and AKB48. Team Eight is like their Team Eight's like the black sheep of the Forty Eight group where they do their own sort of thing and also mm-hmm. it's the, it's the one that's especially sponsored by Toyota, so they like they they do stuff a bit differently. So she has her, her teammate standing is probably good. It's just she's never ranked in a Senbatsu election before, so I don't know what like mm-hmm. I don't know what her net outcome is at the end of this. Honestly, I don't know if she's gonna make waves. Um, okay, here's one that you guys should probably be able to comment on. Park Heyoon from FNC. So, Jacob, um, did you like her much? Um, but yeah, she was one of my favorites. I even said it before. Um, the honestly, she was probably my second favorite, like overall, as far uh, besides like you know the the ones that I thought were a lock in the group. So like Heyoon Jin and Park Heyoon are probably my favorites. Um, uh, and, pause uh, really quick, or like no, just like not not actual pause, but like. On her, I'm on the TV Inc. site, and her quote is ASMR girlfriend. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so she, she's from FNC, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're planning on debuting a girl group soon. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, yeah, definitely. No, I think that was yeah, that she'll was the definitely rumor. be in that. So, yeah, she's, she's going to be the main vocalist easily. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think she has anything to worry about. Yeah, her standing's pretty secure. Nate. She also made yeah, it way same. farther than I thought. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, well, she, yeah, she really had some good showcases of her vocal talent. Um, yeah, I think she. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. FNC is gonna have something coming up soon. They haven't had a girl group since AOA. That's their only girl group. Yeah, and AOA's um, standing is. <laughs> who knows? Without uh, who knows at this point? But yeah, so um, that's pretty obvious uh that she'll be she'll be in a group soon i think but if they throw her in an aoa clone please no please no she doesn't she doesn't no, yeah, fit yeah. in that whatsoever like fnc like if i want a female end flying basically just like if you could do that if you could if you could give that to us like do you mean just, aoa black Basically, but I mean, Rest I want to. I, I want the. I want one that actually lasts longer and doesn't decide. Okay, we're gonna be a sexy dance group instead. So, female. Actually, it's funny because uh, uh, Yu Kyung, I think was her name. Um, it's so long ago. It's, I'm already forgetting. Uh, she actually did a drum cover of Rumor I saw on Instagram because oh. I follow her on Instagram. Oh, that's cute. Um, and oh. also speaking of um, and flying, freaking Twestong, uh, the guy that uh, the one that from Produce One One Season Two that got added. No, no shit. He was actually in the crowd. He was actually in the crowd of the live oh, yeah. finale. So yeah, they they do that sometimes. Uh, like, sporting. That's what yeah, I was hoping. <laughs> like. Uh, Min Hyuk was there for uh, Starship Trainees because mm-hmm. he would have just been so extra and like screaming. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, they didn't show uh, too many other celebrities, unfortunately. Um, and the last yeah. person on this list and finished dead freaking last is Shido Mamiru from NMB48. Uh, I mean, what could you gather from uh, I guess seeing Miru? Uh, what, what do you think, or her in terms of her Korean popularity, at least? I thought she'd make it in, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, same, so same. She was, she was my, she was probably my number one Korean, uh, Japanese member, honestly, because I love Miyu so much. But mm-hmm. to see her get dead last is just a goddamn shame, honestly. <laughs> she didn't deserve to be dead last. But that being said, I, I as I mentioned in previous episodes, I think she has a she has a secure future in NMB forty eight. She's probably she's the heir apparent or one of the heir apparents to uh, the leadership there and. Like, NMB48 really needs leadership, so I think it's okay that she didn't make it. 
And also, mm-hmm. she's filthy. She's filthy, stick and rich. So apparently, like, she's she's joking around that oh, I'm gonna buy like I'm gonna buy uh, Khan's contract and or she's gonna buy all everyone's contract and make them join NMB48, which I'm totally down for, <laughs> honestly. Like, if she if she uses like her Ojo Sama wealth to just buy up all these Korean train Korean members' contracts, is is she rich because she inherited it, or literally just because how popular she is? No, her, her apparently her dad runs like a like a multi million dollar company, and just she just so oh, happened okay. to be to want to become an idol. So, well, there's a lot of idols like that in Korea too. Like, like I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure like Suho from EXO, his dad is like really rich. Ji Won's family's rich. Su Young's family's rich. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's that's a big thing. Sunny's family's. <laughs> oh yeah, Sunny's family. <laughs> her uncle, obviously, her uncle's <laughs> kind of rich. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, how do you think she made it into the group? So. Um, yeah, get, would you would you enjoy seeing a group of all eight of these members? Sure, I won't be yeah. against it. I I have I highly doubt it happens considering getting the AKB forty eight trainees organized to yeah, to do a group like it's, that. It's, it's just not gonna work. Yeah, it's way too complicated. But it would be cool. Um, yeah, and that's the weird thing is like it's weird because like I could I really surprised, but like. I don't think the Korean trainees that are left would make a good group. If that makes sense. They just don't match well. I guess. Like, because you have Hayu and, there are, and there's and there's, there's only three of them. Yeah. Like, like yeah, it's Choan, Gan, and Hayu, and like Choan and Gan could probably make Cho-on, a good. Yeah, <laughs> but like I don't think Hayun fits in that, mm-hmm. and like there's just not enough of them either. Like I feel like for that that group, you need at least four members. Um. So it's yeah. just like it's just weird because yeah I don't think that group will happen unfortunately mm-hmm. with the way the Japanese trainees like having to figure all that out it's just way too complicated. Yeah. All right, so just closing thoughts on all of Produce Forty Eight or just the finale or just whatever you wanted to get uh, out of the way before we we sign off. Jacob, I'll start um, with you. I guess for me, I know I know I didn't get all the the members I wanted, but overall, I'm 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 fine with how it turned out. I th- I think the group will still you know, succeed and do well and do good music and stuff. Assuming they didn't blow all their good songs on the finale. Oh, they so. probably did. <laughs> <laughs> if one wants any indication. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, they besides had energetic. They had well, energetic. Energetic was say. fantastic. <laughs> so. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. IOI was opposite, where it started out, like, mediocre and just got better and better. Yeah. Um, so, Nate, how do you think... Th- this will, I know that nothing will compare it to IOI, but I mean, do you? Oh yeah, yeah. As I was say, like, well, obviously, I like. I don't know if I'll ever be as emotionally invested in a show as I was in previous season one. Um, I don't know what happened to make me that way, but it just that that show like just really, I got really hooked on that show and really emotionally invested, um, which is why I became such a big IOI fan, and it helped that like I was incredibly happy with everyone that made it um it wasn't my ideal group obviously uh there i would have made a couple changes but um and i i think in this this group it's this it's very similar um i'm ha- i'm overall happy with this group um and the, the members that are in it it's nowhere near my ideal group because of the situation with the japanese trainees um but i'm gonna definitely follow this group i'm gonna buy their albums um, like that's that's no doubt. Uh, and overall, I was happy with this show this season. Uh, it definitely was much improved in terms of uh, performance and music quality mm-hmm. uh, over the past two seasons. So I was really happy th- with that. It also because of the I like it actually seemed like it was less. Uh, hostile and like negative and reality showy because um, it's, it's girls. Like, so <laughs> well, no, but like even compared to season one, there just was a lot more like drama. Um, if, even if it, mean, whether it was I'm manufactured mad. or not, uh, but it it was nice. Like it, I think a big part of that was they showed a lot of the uh, Japanese and Korean trainees trying to get along and like trying to learn from each other and learning each other's languages and just the struggles they had and it just felt a lot more heartwarming. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I liked that a lot too. 
so I guess for my final thoughts, uh, I don't know, the, the verdict's still out for me when it comes to I, Eyes 1, where, I don't know, like, right now I feel pretty disappointed, but that being said, I'm still gonna follow the group, I don't, but I don't know if I'll ever, I mean, it might just be like one on one where I'm just super hyped on them at the beginning and then just kind of teeter off, it falls just off. Be- because like yeah. it, the concept's not as interesting for me or just like, I guess I'm just not as happy with the direction and also I feel like we're gonna get situations one th- like the rumor is it's like one and a half years of exclusive contract whereas the last year is you're free to work with other um other like your main like uh production company and mm-hmm. I kind of feel like we're gonna end up with situations where <coughs> it'll just be the Koreans and yeah, I definitely think there's gonna be points where it's just the Koreans, I, which I'm will not, suck. Gonna be I'm, like uh, what a man. Where yeah, it's, like it's, it's in, yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah. gonna get a what a man situation, and I'm I am not gonna enjoy it. And I don't know, like eh, I, I think I it get, could still be good. It has to have a good song, though. I mean, yeah, it has to have a yeah. good song, but I just I, the yeah, idea, that's what made what everyone okay with what a man as a yeah. song was so good. But I just I, I wish what a man like, was. Oh. I still wish what a man was a, the full group, though. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. I percent. Yeah, I, I it didn't have Kong Min on it. Yeah, I, I just don't want them to. I just don't want it to feel like they wasted um, Hitomi and Nako and Sakura's time when they were yeah, really yeah. just gonna promote the Korean uh, members of the group. Uh, yeah, because so I guess my the message I want to leave everyone with is that I know I, if you're like me and you're like very disappointed with it, this is if anything this is a more of a more than anything this is a call to action of like support these girls support these the girls that didn't make it and support their home groups especially the japanese members from 48 group like just because mnet or like korea didn't pick them just doesn't doesn't mean your support has to die like there's i damn well know that when we go to when we go to japan when we go to tokyo i know we're gonna somebody's gonna have to try and help us with this but i want to see i want to see akb 48's theater show and i want to see people like moe and like judy and the rest of them like i'd say i'd say out of all of us i probably fell in love with um 48 group the most and i mean it's it's a group that i've just always been observing from like a distance for like the longest time and i'm so happy that this show sort of was able to bring me into the fold, and I'm going to follow, if anything, I'm probably going to follow 48 group more religiously than I am going to follow Eyes 1, but... Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say K-pop at first, and I was like, no, you're out. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, like... uh, I mean, it's been no surprise. We've sort of been like sneaking J-pop slowly and slowly into our sort of thing. But I'd love if we mm. were able to cover J-pop. If I was able to like it's gain too the knowledge. Much stuff. I know it's so much <laughs> stuff. It's so much stuff. We have to save this when we're, when we're rich and famous. But I'd love to be able to cover J-pop because it's such, like it's. I guess it's, it's it's like the new frontier for me. Just because I feel like we've covered we've, like even though it's the old frontier. I, yeah, it's just, J-pop's really the old frontier. Yeah, J-pop really is. It's just like it's early two thousands. It was all about J-pop, and now it's all about <laughs> K-pop. Yeah, it's just like I'm I'm discovering all this new stuff that I really just I'd love to cover. And I mean, I'm not trying to like steal like Forty Eight Talk or whatever, or any other like mem- like YouTubers uh, Thunder. It's just yeah, I've I've just fallen in love with this group. I've fallen in love with like a hundred th- like billion different like girls, and it's gonna be a night. I thought like trying to like name all nine members of Soshi at the beginning was hard, but oh my god, how am I going to name every single member of every single team? I mean, if I get to that point, then maybe I just like I there might be no room in my brain for K-pop anymore. But like. I'm just really happy that Andrew's sh- announcing he's graduating from <laughs> Truly Daybok. No, yep. I'm not graduating from Truly Daybok. I, I not not for a long time. Uh, yeah, I just it, it really I just really appreciate how this was able to bring as someone that was into J-pop before um, this show came out. It, I just really appreciate how it's able to bring K-pop and J-pop together because it feels like there's just like animosity and like ill like the like ill you K-pop no, weave or. Just- that's, That's the just internet. internet fanboyism, and I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad that these girls have, are going to get a following and sort of like are getting the recognition they deserve. So, yeah, just yeah, follow. I definitely want to follow them. Follow their home groups, please. Um, support them as best as you can. Buy the singles, watch their MVs, like we do with K-pop groups, and if I you think can. It, if you can, and like no, I'm just, if, Japan blocks all your car, all it, their no, stuff. AKB, AKB, and SK, like the the the, the forty eight groups never block. And I think okay. if we show Aki P that okay, we as K-pop fans love these girls, 
I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility he makes a he makes a 48 group in Korea or he willing or he's willing to bring these girls uh like the groups over to Korea and promote them there or have make sub or make special groups that'll do Korean or K-pop style songs like they're trying to expand because they need they're again the, the popularity is kind of waning so we have to show that support for them or else we're never going to we're not going to see our like the the people that we fell in love with on the show like succeed so i, I that's that's the message i want to leave everyone with like don't let your don't let your support die here honestly um and I guess as for the future of the show, just let us know what you want us to do with uh, uh, produce cast. Uh, we definitely need a break because we're st- I've I'm I ha- basically haven't been able to do anything except debut cast and produce cast and like reviews and like watching the show for like the past couple of months. So yeah, we definitely need a break. But uh, let us know what you want us to do in the future. Do you want us to uh, cover Eyes One in depth? Do you want us to like treat it like we do with uh, Card and? with uh luna where we like do reactions or reviews and that sort of thing do you want us to cover future seasons because i know there's there's future seasons of uh produce 101 uh in thailand there's 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 one of the boys and obviously they're great who knows what they'll do they're probably gonna make uh another boy season in korea next year so we'll probably follow that if that if that is a thing or do you want to see us do uh, a retro uh or a, a look back with um season one or yes, china you do or China, like season I, one. Yeah, I mean, I, I've I've been putting off season one for as long as I can, so I mean, might as yeah. well make an excuse really, to watch it. Yeah, we've been. That's like, ideally, what I want to do is do what we did for this season, for season one, because you guys haven't seen it. Yeah, and I think even even knowing the final group is worth watching, mm-hmm. and it'd be fun for our listeners to go back and rewatch it too with us. Um, obviously that's what I want to do. Cause I'm a huge Iowa. <laughs> You're the Iowa it master. <laughs> makes me upset that you guys haven't seen season one. Um, but yeah, I, for me, it's just hard to go back and, well, yeah, it's so hard to digest this stuff for me. Cause yeah, like, it, it's just, a I already lot of have work. Tr- trouble paying attention to stuff as it is like a three yeah. hour long episode. I can't get through it. It's yeah. My only thing, but I definitely I mean, do want to watch season one eventually. Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, and well, and that's history. the nice thing about if we do season one is we can kind of do it at our own pace. Because yeah. uh, it's, it's not it's not time sensitive, obviously. We're yeah, reviewing definitely. a two-year-old show. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, we can kind of just do it at our own and pace. Again, but, I, yeah, I, I, let I us know get what the, you want us to do. Yeah, I want it, we want to get to China as well. So if you're interested in that, even though that was passed already. Um, and it, it, again, this style of show isn't restricted to just produce. 101 like let us know if you want us to cover 16 season 2 or the answer is yes yeah uh, i yeah. don't know like if there's a unit, yeah i think 16 season 2 is probably like guaranteed for us yeah definitely because we're something we're, we'll do and i mean if you want us to cover the unit if they have another season or mix 9 if they have another season <laughs> nope <laughs> i fucking That's not know happening. i highly doubt the unit will either they didn't oh. get great ratings either so i mean yeah if you want us but to s- the groups are successful if you want to see us more co- uh if you want to see us cover more survival shows, please let us know. Like your feedback is very important to us. So, yep. that being said, that is the end of this season of Produce Cast. It took a long time, but we finally got through it, and we'll see if we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens from here with Eyes One. So, closing statement or just closing thoughts, guys, really quick, or just like closing thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get to go to sleep. <laughs> I will have to wake up in less than six hours. Yeah, to I know. I'm really <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> so thank you again for everyone that's been with us since day one. I we genuinely thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for giving us all the uh, love and attention, and we hope we did a very, uh, decent job of sort of explaining our thoughts and uh, insight into this show. And I hope you join us again for whatever we have in the future, whether it be the debut cast or our special uh, group. Uh, shows or the next season of Produce Cast. Uh, I hope we've made you into long-time Truly Daybok fans. So, for yep. myself, Jacob, and Nate, thank you, and Oyasumi. It felt like a song that was kind of tailor-made for her and for them to just sort of, like, I guess, like, sort of pressure her to, like, give up the, the role in that sort of way. It, it, it made yeah. me mad. Like, honestly, I'll, I'll, go so, I'll go so far as to say, like, Anya Jin had no business being the center of the song. I'm sorry, but...